So, we are now switching to Dragon Ball Fighters, which will be on in 20 minutes. So stay tuned for that. Meanwhile, I'll switch to this one. Fix up some stuff. Dragon Ball Fighters, top 8. Alright. So, get ready for some sick mix-ups. Sick, uh... Sell on uh, Goku Black gameplay, because that's all you're going to see today, I bet. Just kidding. Alrighty then. So, let me give you a little preview of the brackets to come. Once I figure out where my microphone is, so I don't end up ruining everything. Alright. Dragon Ball Fighters. So, right now, do we have any bracket top eight? All right. So, in winners, we have Runes versus Lim. First match in winner semi-finals. And then we have Prods versus Issei in the bottom of winner semis. Next up, in losers round one, we have Dobeast versus Forte. And lastly, we have Sweet versus Dreadtech in losers round one also. For top eight, that is. Uh, pretty late matches is going to go on. Uh, Rune vs. Lim. I'm not sure on Rune vs. Team, but Lim, one of Tasmania's strongest players, was first seed until literally last week. So, that was a good time. Yep, looks like our sound quality is good. Uh, Sam, you probably want to have the music up a little bit more than the SFX, because the music is naturally quieter than everything else. Yeah, so about that. Alright, let's see how that is. Do you want to do a sound check just in case? Yeah. Uh, bottom left. Yep, go down there. And then talk to that guy. Yep. Sorry? Uh, that'll be you versus Runus. Alright, yeah. Just gonna get picked. Cool. Alrighty, let's see how this goes. Then just hit some buttons, hopefully. That sound good from where you are? Yep. Awesome. Uh, actually, you might need to turn the music down a little bit. Might need to turn the music down. Just a tad. Yeah. Or just turn up everything else instead. Yeah. So just turn it all up then. If that's fine. So just turn everything up. Yep, that'll do. Nice wave dash, Sammy. <laughs> Alright. Yep. We're just adjusting sound and things like that. Just using stream to casually do my hair. <laughs> Alright. So, I am hyped for some Dragon Ball. 
I can probably commentate, I wonder. Pitchy's gonna jump in. Play some casuals by the looks of it. It's got 20 minutes, so it's fine. A bit close. I'm just going to take something. Hey Peachy, you're not in top 8, are you? I don't think you were, I was just... Yeah, cool, cool, cool. I was just wondering, because you were already on stream and I was like... Hold on, is he just practicing? And then I was like, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I just got confused mentally. And I was like, has there been a mistake somewhere, just in case? But... <laughs> uh, I'm actually in Grand Finals. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna check on Smash, so I'll be right back.
Alrighty, we will be starting momentarily. So give us one minute and then you'll get your matches. Yes. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Yep, everything's functional. Uh, for you guys, three. Oh man, we're right. back. You're lucky you've got the mic where you can actually hear everyone speaking. <laughs> yeah. Hello, I think everyone can hear each other speaking. Yeah, yeah. Put the headset on, you should be able to hear. You'll be able to hear each other through the magic of technology. Wow, what a Audio time. technology. Here we are, Dragon Ball Fighters. Also pronounced Z, also pronounced Z. There's something about Dragon Ball that makes you really want to say Z, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's that real Americanization. It's because of that Toonami dub like, back in the day. Like, Mazinga Z, Mazinga Z sounds stupid. Mazinga Z sounds strong, like a black eyeing castle in the sky. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, you want that extra zip. It's because of the theme song, dude. Every single time it comes around. That new metal band, <laughs> who people mistook for Linkin Park, say, Dragon, Dragon. Rock the Dragon. Dragon Ball Z. Z. You're never going to get that out of your head as long as you're away. You cannot escape it. These guys making a high tier choice. Hit music for the uh, yes, so soundtrack. Team so Brutus, which is Android 21 and two geeks. <laughs> he's, he's got no combos for the other two. The entire shtick is do auto combos, make wish. <laughs> you know that Android 21 is going to link into absolutely everything. Yep. She can certainly capitalize well. And not accidentally knocking things down. With the jump will make things happen. Let's get that full batch up here. We are here for the first match of the set. Lim getting in first there with uh, the hit. Oh, beautiful cross up there. I'm a, a big fan of Lim's team. Really, really diverse compared to a lot of the other teams you see around. Doesn't use any of the major characters that we've been seeing in tournaments. No Cell, no 16, no Black. He does, however, have Hellzone Grenade. Yeah, which is absolutely oh. mint. Oh, that's unfortunate at the start. Beautiful, sad, beautiful reflect. There. Beautiful reflect covered by the trunks. You see that? We're just steadily getting his advantage here. Mm -hmm. He's using Blaze Blue coming in. Mm. Is this going to kill? I yeah, don't. that should be a... Oh, no, that drops at the end there. <laughs> Liam with a strong advantage here. Rines, uh, Android 21, almost dead. Oh, using that slow-moving stolen alien move, I think, provides that. There we go. Beautiful work by Liam. Just taking out that 21. Let's see if Rinus has combos for his other characters. Oh, well, he has auto combos. <laughs> You know he's going to be using that Trunks cross up a hell of a lot. Yeah, I fucking love Lim. Yeah, good stuff. Lim is a god Lim. of DBZ. With that sick read on that 2H as well. Here we go. Oh, Hell's on mix ups. Here it comes. Can he block Where's it? He Stays down on the ground. Oh, beautiful tech by Rinus. Taking throws in this game? That's impossible. Yeah, yeah. Is this the true power of a Saiyan warrior? Oh, safe jump there from Lim. Absolutely stuffing out the 2H. Going to punish him for it. Oh, and down. that's it. That beam cannon is very special. Strong, strong opener from Lim. Two characters up already. Vegeta, can we bring it back with this mid-tier character? Sparking combo. Vegeta's not very good. Not very useful. Yeah, yeah. Really, really just kind of mid-tier. I don't know why everyone plays him. Look at that throw. Good stuff. On that Piccolo scared. Piccolo wants that meter. He wants to be on top of you. Not the other way around. Not <laughs> yep. the best defensive character, but oh boy, Hellzone. Come on, get, get him out of there. Get that big green out. Yes. Gonna bring out the Beerus. Beerus. Kick the balls. Honestly, honestly, I think the Beerus is a strong matchup for Vegeta. Both of them want to play a similar play style. So. Beerus really strong in that zoning. You can see Lim, a beautiful tech. Lim was having so much trouble with those yesterday, and now he seems to have gotten the hang of it. 
Yeah, hopefully everyone's gone super good practice in this morning. Yeah. We're just spending his time ignoring units in order to get <laughs> the DDZ time in. Oh, messes up, absolutely. This good is stuff. Scared. This is, oh, okay, no hell zone. No hell zone. So, oh. mm, the reactions. You know Lim was ready for that, like, it gets in your head when people do stuff like that. Absolutely. See here, yep, here comes. Bit of a weird scramble, auto come back and finish it up. Here. <laughs> Dragon Balls, big bang attack. No sparking here, good honest comeback. Karun is coming up, if you tease it. Bring that hits here. There we He's go. He's invincible, behind you. Amazing combo by Liam, drops it though, unfortunate. Wins out in the exchange of Super Dash. Attempts the counter. Here we go. Liam taking a commanding victory in that first one. Going up a game. Tazzy's uh, winner's side hope. Let's see how far Liam can run it back. Runas getting ready for this see, next round. If he gets his 21 mana going, this can be scary. Trunks taking some damage in the background there. I'm trying to remember what abilities 21 gets if she's still from hit. Uh, hit, I think she gets the alien abilities. Similar to Piccolo or the boot. Not the boost. Uh, Piccolo and. Mm, uh, oh, yeah, so she gets both. Yeah, yeah. You want the teleport. Not There's sure what she gets from Beerus, so might be the same. Mm. Oh, yeah. overhead. Two overheads. Bam. Runus really suffering in both of these games from losing the 21 early. Team is entirely built around that character from the looks of it. Most of his strongest combo is using that character. Attempts to go from the uh, Trunks auto combo to close the distance. There we go, here's the auto combo. Get those balls, look out for them all. Tagging into Vegeta. Mm, Gonna finish it up. <laughs> and master of strategy, Vegeta. Master of strategy? Hey, Pico says it every episode. <laughs> Two snaps, three snaps. That's a tech though. Uh, Lim, getting sick Old of it. Man flying in there. Can't play soccer today, mate. Right, here we go, another one. But Just cycles through the entire team. Oh yeah! Gets out of it. Catch out that parry into super. Oh! oh Again, no. gonna get grabbed. Lim really, really suffering to these dragon rushes. Falling out like Lim does know how to use the push block in this game, but got thrown for his trouble. Oh, trying to keep it alive here. It's still alive. Frame advantage, okay. Good Fair stuff. Uses the sparking to keep the character alive. Yeah, we're definitely seeing a shift in the meta towards using sparking to keep characters alive. Maybe yeah. In composition. People are not as keen to try and make that big comeback run back, trying to keep their entire team alive so that they can maintain a lot of the pressure. Yeah, it's just so much easier to open people up. Yeah. Man, Trunks is such a hard character to block. <laughs> Here we go. Cross ups everywhere, wacky overheads. Lim hitting him out of the cross up there in that case. Oh, here we go, call out. Trunks going low here. Here is Scott, what's the setup? What's for breakfast? One kick, two kicks. Uses the guard cancel, gets him out. Mm -hmm. Pick low, here we go. No, not watching his feet. Here Auto combo, go. catching him on the ground. How many balls he got? Five balls. Rinus playing around those Dragon Balls. Oh, oh the roll level three, ball. gonna catch him. <clears throat> Half that health, straight away. Pick low setups, what do we got? Trying to rush in. The sparking available. Good mm -hmm. stuff. You know Lim's trying to bait for that kind of thing. Like, Rinus is gonna set. Have those kind of setups. Oh man, how uh, that? What? Towering up. No fear from Runus. Lim, unfortunately, for me. Right oh. 2H. Get him. Gonna take him to the corner. Oh, drops it. Trunks assist comboing in there. Oh, not comboing, catching him. Just tagging. Oh, oh. man, the deeping in the ball. Not the brightest of ideas, as you'd expect of the Prince of Saiyans. <laughs> Super Dash there, gonna okay, catch him. Brings the Beerus in. No hell zone. Oh, reflect. Gonna catch him, good damage there. Oh, that's Woo! with punish. Lim with he the... should be dead. Oh no! Drops it, unfortunate by Lim. Big bang. Dead Big soon. explosion. Here we go, feel each other out, watching out for those balls. Oh, guard cancel, still getting caught by the oh, change of the future. Heavy, gonna catch him in the air. It's okay, we know how to dragon dash through those balls. It's not the ball that's scary. It's Hellzone. Big bang is a reaction. Hmm. Surprised to go for that over. Hits him too okay. high there. Vanish. Have a floaty boat. Use both characters from evening out the damage. Dead Piccolo coming yeah. up. Mm. Yep, finishes him off. Yeah, Lim, one remaining character. Rinus trying to even it up. Lim taking commanding lead earlier on in this match. Rinus managed to drag it back. Though it is still very much within Lim's ability to win this match. Trunks pressure, here we go. Didn't have the assist online. Yeah, when you got smooth hits like that, like, that's what you need to really take advantage of. 
So the ball's out. Trunk's going to walk. Make his way through. Cross ups. Limb working on the reflex. Hard to see. There's a call out. Yes. Ball in. Come on. Close one here. Close characters. This is going to be one combo for either character. Good, honest game here. Street Fighter 2. Oh! I love Lim! I love Lim! That was... Oh, no! Watch out. Anyone's game. No meter. Honest fighting. Playing hyperdimension here. Vegeta has the best comeback in that game. Yeah. Ah! Lim with the banish. Going to close it out. Takes him through on the winner's side. Beautiful work by Lim. Out like the Tasmanian. And Runa's going to get o 2 Sammy T is in charge of the bracket. Next up, we're going to have... Rods and Issei coming up. The man from Japan himself. Ready to come all the way to Tasmania to win this tournament. And New South Wales legendary cool guy, Rods. Prods taking out our local Seb, our local top seed, oh, early on in the tournament. Let's see if he can carry this through. Paths of destruction this man is wreaking upon our brackets. <laughs> Potential for him to get third. We reckon he'll get third place in every tournament he's in. <laughs> Is that the meme? He got he got third in Eunice. He might get third in Blaze Blue. He's get third in EBFC. Gotta carry it through. I mean, first would be better because then he wins. Hey, third still gets surprising. You get a medal. It's true. You get to feel good about yourself when you go home. Runus plant. Not Runus, sorry. Prods. I've got Issei versus Issei here. <laughs> So there we go, got our setup. Beautiful. Prods plays a bit of an unorthodox team, I think. <laughs> we don't see much of the blues. Yeah, but Prods is very much a man notorious for playing true to his heart. Yeah. He's mashing like nobody's business. Okay. He's actually way more cautious than you would think from people who have that reputation. He has calmed down and matured a lot. Mm. No, no, he, he's been up to the Guiana Highlands. He's been staying in the waterfalls. Meditating. Meditation. Are we going to see the power up mid match then? Oh, yes. He'll just be meditating, waiting for something to come to him. We'll here. see. Will he become the mystic Prods? Or <laughs> will he be the ultra instinct Prods? Or oh, starting off close, both players willing to play a bit of neutral and start here. I mean, Kid Boo's all about that neutral because he can whip punish you from most of the screen away. Yeah. Oh, opened up. The run under there, gonna cross up Issei. Full combo. Uh, what's the mix up? Oh. Catching out, jump out attempts. Not catching the TN on the way in, gonna catch him in the low though. Staggered low. That's like it's standard pressure play, but. Against Blue Goku, where he's got that really good standing overhead with 5 like, yeah, it yeah. is really scary. It's one of those examples of just like basic blocking becoming a problem yes. with a character like this. It's really hard to reaction block in a game like this where there's so much going on on the screen. So you really have to know the opponent's strings. I could, I'd say that you can almost say the same about uh, Tien. Tien, another one of those characters with a very yeah. strange basic block string. Yeah, they're just very stressful to be blocking against. Yeah. Type of thing that sh yeah, gonna open him up. Not confirming on the assist. Vegeta assist. Gonna catch him in the corner. No confirm, unfortunately. One Vegeta. This is one. Th hey, here we go. This should be dead. Oh no! Drops the early day nerves coming into play. Oh, reflects the whole thing. First Australian ma major regional. Manages to get him out of there, keeping the blue Goku alive, bringing Trunks online. From the future, he's got some plans. <laughs> you know, he knows what's up. He knows what's going to happen. Overhead, going to catch him in the corner, going to get the full combo. He comes through a world where you're not even there. Issei confirming with the Vegeta assist, so going to take him all the way up. Is we going to get a super ender? No. He's no. With Kibu. Ooh, Good man. stuff, mashing out of the attempted command grab. Drops it. Okay, no ender there. Both Look players. Struggle to beams. Everyone's just willing to throw out some assists there. Enough. Get that stuff on the screen, watch out for the kid boo. Mm, <laughs> too hard to take. Too hard to take in this game. Even though they almost all got taken in the last game. <laughs> it's really impressive, we've been seeing... Uh, I, I, beam, triangle beam comes out of the square. Gonna murder him. Saw a bit of Twitter tech coming out yesterday about the uh, way that techs work in this game. If you mash uh, your tech button in the preceding frames, you are locked out from teching. Yeah, that's a very... That's a very arc system thing to do. Yeah. They have a similar thing in Blaze Bloom, it's called Throw Reject Miss. Yeah. Which was done because that, that game had a really good throw and take option selects. So that was the way of nerfing them. Gonna confirm off the heavy version of the uh, special. Keep it with the dash back. Yeah, oh yeah, he could have been having a disrespect there. He, he was quite yeah. high. A little bit of a questionable use of the 2M, they're gonna work out for him. <laughs> 
Oceano's last character. Still got the sparking. We do have Julian in the crowd just catcalling random shit in Japanese. It's brilliant to listen to. <laughs> Alright, it's a sitting pretty with a lot of his characters, a lot of health online. Still got the sparking as well. Prods with the level 3 sparking online, gonna get hit by the 2 H. Gonna get full combo by Kid Buu. Seven bars for Issei. What's he doing with it? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing at nothing. all. Like, just spend it. Just get used. You get that meter back soon enough. EX blockable. Oh, drops a combo. Ooh, sparking okay. online. One chance for Prods here. Can he manage to make it back? He really needs a character kill in this sparking if he wants to do anything. He should be getting halfway to a character kill there, yeah. Soft knockdown. Attempted command grab. Kid Boo retreating to the air. Oh no, the call out by Kid Boo. Very strong and scary. Still got six bars. Really seeing what you were talking about before with the Kid Boo half screen punishes. Trying to backdash there, getting locked out of his block, and gonna get punished for doing so. Both players working with a lot of meter, not using it throughout this match. Really quite strange. 6M. Yeah. Oh man, and a throw, just getting him scared. That, plus, that frustration and fostering that happens. The and most classic tick throw. Mm. No, nah, drops it. Needed to use the level 3 there. Gonna go for the 6M. Closes it out on TN. Yeah, I mistook that for level 3 to begin with. No, that's not the size. That's not the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know how to feel about the English voice of Goku Black. It's, it's, it's a bit... It's uh, Goku, but evil. Yeah. Exactly what you expect. Just like in Japanese. Yeah. All you need to know for someone to be evil in any kind of anime is they've got a British accent. That's all it yeah. takes. Of course the English are evil. They hate freedom. Yeah. Oh, oh call punished. out on the sparking. Beautiful. Going for the level one here. Using the heavy to teleport, instant transmission, trying for the cross up, reflects in the corner to try and get himself out of there. Prod's playing out of his mind in the late second half of this game. Definitely. Trying to make that comeback with the Goku yes. Black. Is he going to get caught as he uses the beginning? Level three, that's a call out. We're going to see him. Final flash. He did. He is dead. Issei closing it out in the end. Prods with a very respectable attempt for the comeback, though. Right back into it. Prods absolutely proving he can hang. He's on the cusp of victory itself. It seems like Prods has calmed down a little bit. I'll be interested to see what he does with Goku Blue this round. Considering it seems like his strongest character, he didn't get to use it that much. Blue combo, though. That's going to feel bad. Going to confirm with the Goku Blue. Take him all the way to the air. Issei with the Kid Buu already at half health. Gonna get at the corner, sliding knockdown, what's for breakfast? I really love seeing that, how a lot of people are using the uh, Trunks Assist, to I the short uh, block stun from uh, Chains of Future to be able to look for the tick throw, or just mixing it up completely and going for the tick throw, tick throw overlapping with the Chains of Future. Absolutely. Prize taking a quick commanding lead, taking no damage, and Issei already down a character. Maybe a bit flustered, we'll see how he goes. Oh. That flip always a scary thing to do with. You like, never show which side. Yeah, you never show like if you can actually swat him as he's coming down. As far as I'm aware, also the uh, flip ignores the usual uh, while landing stun. Yeah. Yeah. Gives trunks a lot of opportunity. Mm, now that dive kick. You can really see prods. Vegeta, yes. Here we go, charging in. Oh, oh goes for the throw. No throw. <laughs> Oh, oh, attempted reflect. Panic, but no punish on that reflect. Issa doing go. nothing with it. Gonna take him all the way up. All the way Not down. a lot of meter to work with. Boom, get that trunks out of there. Ah! <laughs> nice. Swap in, catching him. Good stuff. Oh. I, I think that one of the biggest things we're going to start to see as people become more comfortable with this game is with a lot of the Vegeta strings that have to be finished in a, in a instant transmission to make them safe, you're going to see two H's. Yeah. DP, getting himself out of the corner there. And that, that's really the story of this game, is that it's so hard to work out frame the bunch by yourself, but just if you know your hikes on your vanish, then that's going to yeah. get you hooked up. Again, the DP going to catch him in the corner. Ooh, weird, weird side swap. Man. Uses nice the beam. Is they getting damage. so much mileage out of this DP? Level one. Big bang attack. Oh, right, that's dead. That's dead. That'll finish it up. Man, Tien's such a steezy character. I'm so sad more people don't play. Issa and Prods, both using a hell of a lot more of the meter this round. Not really willing to let damage sit on the table. Both players still with Sparky no online. Gonna kill him here. No respect in that way. Got pay on the price. Damn last character. Can't be pressing buttons. <laughs> now we saw how good Prods was with one character remaining. We'll see if Issa's just as strong. Certainly his DPs were strong when he had people backing him up. Issei really respecting the Trunks mix-ups. Oh, 
He's going to get punished for that one. The reversal getting reversed. Prof is such a good feel for when a homing dash. This is a position where you're going to be trying to jump or throwing out a fireball. This is going to be it, I think. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Prof's evening it up. Honestly, I came into this game with no idea of who Goku Black was, having not watched Super. Seeing that level 3 alone was enough to make me want to play the character. Really beautiful for Marxists. Alright, Prod's evening it up. 1-1, one, one, gonna take it into the third game. Who's gonna be heading on into our winner's final? To be fair, you haven't missed much with Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, I don't think so. The relief episodes are still pretty great. Honestly, I feel like Beerus is probably the only character I really missed out on. I am a big OG fan of Dragon Ball, though. Gotta love that old 90s See, fight. the problem with Beerus is that his best line wasn't even in the TV show. It was in the, the, movie. the movie. Yeah, I did watch the movie, though. Beautiful use of the tech story there. Gonna take Prod's up in the corner. Issei taking a commanding lead early. It'll be interesting to see if Issei can get the lead Ooh, with this man. kid Punch boo. Oh, right. trunks cross up. Whoa! Double light. Oh, goes for the tick throw. Gonna get punished for it. Boo. Four bars. This is gonna hurt. Alright, what's the mix up? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, like he's not spending meter on the Triple overhead, dude. That is incredible. It's a really, really tenacious. Going for the same thing until it works. Here we go. And the beam. This is going to be it. Tien hitting like an absolute truck. It's okay. He's still got the Boku Blue and he's going to be behind him. Doesn't have a whole lot of damage on the table yet against Issei, but we did see Prods had that massive comeback before. No, he's capable of it. Anything can happen. Mom throw is going to happen. First Can't time it works, he's set. Julian making it sound like a festival in the background here, chanting like it's Shinto time. Hey, oh, oh, overhead, gonna catch him. This is gonna be a dead Goku Blue. Prods has a lot of work to do if he wants to try and drag this one back. No, one drops it. Drops. Oh, trying to keep it in. And the blocks, but no response. Sad to see that. That vanished, not giving him any advantage. Issa just jabbing through it. Prods with the level 3 sparking online. Oh, it goes for the Chiaotzu. Watch out for him. Chiaotzu's coming. And we'll have that bar again. Do, do, uh, do. See the extension this time. Oh, oh text bad, it. Bad, bad, bad yes. Gonna take him all the way to the track. We're off screen. Oh, 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 oh. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I don't know if anyone saw, but we actually just swapped to the asteroid stage. <laughs> These two guys going to space. Beautiful tech there. You need to watch out because if you fall off the dragon, you'll land in hell. <laughs> Diving back and forth, gonna confirm off the Vegeta. It's okay, not much damage, but he's still in sparking. He is still in sparking. He's not much jumping out, but no punish on that command grab. Gonna go for the heavy version, gonna go for the cross up, and again. again. One more time, fake cross up, but backs away at the last second. Both players staring at each other, stone freaking cold. Goes for the 6M with the with the kid boo assist. Ooh, 6M, gonna try and get something started. Yeah, delays. These delays are nuts. Oh, Not man, punishing no the 2H. That 2H, just so much fear from his age. Raw 2H, too. He wants to be certain, but that uncertainty is creeping up. Not gonna lose. Down. Or again, not using any of the six bars that he has. Oh, man. And pulling out the go out. 2H call out, that's gonna be it. it. Are we gonna see... Yeah, we're gonna see Tien coming back. Wants to finish that character off. Kill off that Tien. Don't let him get more meter. Goes to the Dragon Rush. Oh. Julian Pro giving you advice. Beautiful it's pressure play. Mid set oh, coaching. What a jump. He's getting out of there. Yeah, yeah, that was way too high. Yeah, prize pressing buttons. That should be it. This will be dead. This is Tian. You got to remember, he has so much damage on the Absolutely. board. Level three. No Chao Tzu. Chao Tzu. Boom. Chao Tzu. Sacrifice is not in vain. Prod may be defeated. But his boss is coming. <laughs> in 10 episodes time, Vegeta will appear. <laughs> you know that you're going to see Prods in the future get that Chiaotzu tattoo all over the arm, thanking him for his hard work. It's a win out. Here we go. Forte and Dubbies. Got them both in for our next game. Loses bracket for both of these players a lot on the line. The Beast, our top Randbat player from Melbourne, on getting upset yesterday. Going to be interested to see what he gets up to today. You know, Ford has gotten the guilty gear out of the system now. Should be able to recharge. Yeah. Get ready. It's like a disease. You just got to work through it. 
if he loses, he's got a good option select anyway. Yeah, yeah. Which is, oh, you know, Sorry, this isn't Gundam my main player. game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a Gundam player, man. See me yeah. the real, the real anime game. Yeah, Dissidia, 20 minutes. Oh, no. That's not game. Go, go down that road, mate. What's that? <laughs> the Beast already with the pre-Johns, making sure that after the game we know he's a Tekken player. That is coming up next. We've got that intersection here. Banco on one end. Actually, no, the Gundam is also a Banco game. Never mind. Yeah, everything is Banco. Capcom dropped the ball, Banco came in and just decided to give us what we needed in the FGC. Neither player, man. Publish after that in birth. <laughs> 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 Arcana Heart. This game is basically Arcana Heart though. Yeah, true. It's got homing. <laughs> it's got very wacky Clash games. Is that the uh, defining factor? It has homing? Yes. So, seeing a lot of our crew come out for the DBZ finals, everyone crowded around to watch. The Beast for Day. Alright, are we going to get the crowd scream? We do. Maybe not the crowd scream, maybe just the audacity scream. Solo, carrying oh! the team. <laughs> Adult Gohan, are we ready to be disgusted? If anyone needs to be sick, there is a bucket in the corner. This is a pair of sickening teams. Both team Oki with Forte. Actually, this is a fairly Oki team as well. Yeah, both so players. Like Hell's own grenade. Top meter. Hell's own's coming. Oh, man. It's really scary. The beast confirming. Gonna get the full combo here. Uses the vanish. Booz takes him to the air, gonna get him in the corner. Adult Gohan getting a taste of his own medicine. What's in the more what's for breakfast? Reflex, gotta get instant overheaded. Adult Gohan taken off the table very, very quickly. DeBeast has gotta be happy about that one. Okay, he's got 18. That's a one-man team. <laughs> yeah. One-way man team. You can you can really see the uh, thought that goes into Forte's team too. You know Adult Gohan's always gonna be a bit of an Oki monster. Getting bringing in the Android 18 assist though goes a long, long way. Yes. Just assisting his Oki and it means that if you lose him, it's not quite as bad as, say, a team that's built around snapping and killing Gohan. Yeah, yeah. It's not. You've still got a character who's a massive nuisance, even I, without massive assists. Yeah, we've heard a lot about uh, how DBZ needs to be thought of very differently for the Marvel games. You want a three-anchor team in this game. You want any character on your team to be able to win the match. There's the loops. And that's going to be it. Good work. Piccolo and the Madness will begin. The Beast coming out. Forte, diving in the air clash, working in his favor. Going to take the beast into the corner. What are we going to see for breakfast? Both players with sparking still online. Forte, you know he's going to be using that. Takes him back I'll into the, the corner. Cross up. Ooh, but the drops. No hell's an opportunity. He's got another bar, though. Misses the confirm. Whoa! Let's go. Johnny mix-ups. Good confirm. And regular hit because he didn't want to spend that meter yet. Two A's. Now he gets it with the smash ender. Forte disgusted yes. with himself about and that one. beam. Yeah. Arby, traditionally in the Rambad, seeing a bit of an anti-synergy in his team. The Kid Buu level 1 not working with Piccolo's at all, but going to work out in the corner. Who cares if the Rambad swings away to Nationals? Yeah. Let's see if Forte can manage to keep his adult Gohan alive a little bit longer in this game. Get the uh, mileage out of that character that he's really looking for. Flip. Oh no. Just doing the spin ender. Yeah. Reflects, just spamming the reflect and gonna get called out for doing so. Attempted 2H, use a bit of meter to make that one safe. Oh wow, that jump! Oh, just managed to work out for him anyway. Very weird scramble. Also, Forte dropping the combo. Really unfortunate for him. Maybe got a little bit too much of that Guilty Gear still in his system. Not doing anywhere near enough this. The Beast using the uh, normals from Cell to carry himself forward. No corner loop, drops the combo. Attempts to call the 17th. Oh no. Trying to push a button and crouch there. Yeah, this should be dead. This should be dead. One, two, three. Oh, he fell out. Yes, he did. Good stuff. Forte going to pull it. Mm. It's really unfortunate to see this from Forte. Dropping a lot of his combos. Well, you know, it happens sometimes. Just yeah. Calm down, get your hands working again. Yeah, yeah. Should have asked for some hand warmies first. Yeah. <laughs> Pretend we're smashed. The Beast sitting full screen using the command mail, a bit of a screen filler. Forte still with the adult Gohan oh, online. Blocks, oh, blocks. good blocks. Reflex. Oh no, but doesn't catch out the damage. I'm really impressed seeing from the Beast how he deals with these reflex. You know he's ready for the opponent to be using them and he has an idea of how he wants to react afterwards. 
De Beers not even needing the rest of his team. Cell coming in. Let's see if Forte can bring it back. Got the level 3 sparking online. Didn't get a chance to use it in the last round. Oh, backdash into the 2A. I'm going to catch him. Going to take him to the wall here. Do we have corner loops? We don't. What's for breakfast? Double overhead. Oh, yeah. oh. oh greedy. Come on, grab a fence there. Doesn't pay off. Let's see, if, opening. let's see if De Beers can play the rest of his team. We know he can. That's the secret. All right, Forte. Forte has a lot of work to do, but he is working with six bars a meter. The beast a little bit too high there. Try, trying to press buttons, getting punished for doing so. Dive kick, trying to gain the distance. Oh, attempted 2H. Forte really falling into that trap quite a lot. Every time the attempted 2H is coming out, the beast using the vanish to make it safe, and Forte getting hit for his troubles. Auto combo going to take him up into the air. Okay, we're going to spend the meter. What's in the corner? No, oh. Safe. I'm not a fan of leaving the burst unactivated because this can happen. Yeah. And then you've got so much life that you're not going to be able to recover now. It's going yeah. To be born forever. Again, just, just do it now. Yes. Yes. Seeing that anti synergy there from the beast team, unfortunate. Not bulldogging his way in. He gets caught by the kid boot. Unfortunate for the beast, not having any meter there to confirm. Gonna have enough here. Combo time. Not worth activating sparking though. Just let it be. Yeah, with that much meter, you're not. Attempted 2H, gonna get dive kick for his troubles. Forte, really sitting on a lot of resources, not having a chance to use them. Good reflex. Good one, but flex his way out. Again. Oh boy. No yeah, more sparking coming. online, that's gonna be Forte's it. Forte's already just walked up. He's standing up. Done. Strong showing for the beast. Next up, we have Sweet vs. Dread Tech. Uh, absolutely hyped match. We are ready for these. Sweet, our top ranked player, Dread Tech, another wonderful another melee player. Victoria. We love Dread. Everyone loves Dread, but everyone in Hobart also loves Sweep. True battle of the Eastern States here. Fight across the street. Gonna have Dread Tech on the P1 side. Is this the battle of Pyface versus Banjos? Yeah. <laughs> everyone knows Banjos is better, dude. Don't even start. Don't get me started on Banjos, man. When I do my next Pals cast, I'm gonna be shooting on Banjos. Really? Mate. Not I'm a from, fan. I'm fat and I'm from the country. <laughs> I have high standards in big goods. <laughs> Look, I've gone to Pie Face. Every time I go to Pie Face, oh, I hit it and I'm just disappointed. Uh, Banjo's is better than Pie Face. Like Banjo's is our bottom tier bakery, though. Uh, the good ones are out in Whoop Whoop. Yeah. Yep. If, you go to the, if you go to the, uh, what is it, Rosny or Rokeby Bakery out in Tassie, that's why you want to call it Pie. Both players engaging in a bit of mindfulness, Dread meditating before his match, thanking everyone who's brought him here till this moment. He's preparing his team. Channeling the spirit of Gawichi. We're going to have a yellow versus blue team here. Sweep feeling a bit blue today. Very good. Both players shaking well, before the match. 2% like of the population that are blue-yellow colorblind. <laughs> In which case, this is going to be a really unexciting match for you. Uh, there's no personality to this game. Everything's great. <laughs> Alright, everybody is ready for this one. Both players a lot on the line. You're going to see a lot of nerves here. It'll be really, really interesting to see how they open up. Going to be setting the pace for the rest of this match. Lim in the crowd watching carefully. He wants to know what's going on with this one. So we'll see. Okay. Strong opener from fireballs. Sweep. Aerial H. Where's my cursor? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here's a combo. Is it going to be a grab ender? These Android 21 combos go for about six years. Strong reflect from Dread, getting the pressure off him. Sweep now having to deal with the Android, not Android. Here it comes. This has traditionally been a bit of a uh, worry for Sweep, not dealing quite so well. Blue combo, you got to feel bad about that one. Oh, he's someone whose offense is really strong, but because of that in locals, he hasn't actually learned how to block yet. <laughs> it is something that can happen. Yeah, it definitely is. When you work out one half of the game ahead of the other half. Good confirmed by Sweep, taking the adult Gohan off the table. Dread now having to make a lot happen if he wants to bring this one back. Well. Both players playing full screen oh. for a bit. Dread, no confirm. Teleport. Empty 2H. Commitment. I approve. Trying to use the M to confirm. Going to see some corner pressure. Oh. Beautiful. And the tag. You know, Sweep was ready for that one too. That's the most impressive part. Using the dash. 2H. Going to take him back up into the air. What's happening for Dread Tech? Very nicely timed set up immediately after. Down the balls. Level balls, one. one. Kill. Very kill close. Oh. oh! A Hail Mary there with a throw. Don't get too cocky. Don't get ahead of yourself, mate. Both players playing the distance. Here comes the Prince! 
Prince of Science missing his combo though, unfortunately. You know Sweep is going to be looking for the Vanish, wants to bring that Adder, that Goku Black back in. 2H, going to catch him in the corner, recognizing Dreadtech's habits. Going to bring him back in. Yep, take Look. him in. Look at all that life loss. Oh, beautiful use. The last tick of that hitbox for the Dragon Rush. Going to catch him. No meter, unfortunately. Cannot do much with that one. Kill vanishes out and kills the assist off. Beautiful block from Sweep, though. Going to yes, use the command grab, grip. confirm. Okay, how much can you get off in Dread? Oh, Nothing. Dread. Both okay. players. Good Super scramble cards. there, working out in Dread's favor. Will he sparking? I think he won't. I think he's going to stick to just having a Yeah. Vegeta. With that much blue life, you really need to have it for Vegeta. Dread, Dread going to finish off the Goku Black here. He's playing out of his mind. Man. Both players with two characters left. Sweep losing a couple of key situations. Going to find himself in a hard spot. Nice. Yeah. 2H, call out. Sweep looking predictable. Level three, yes. Not gonna kill, I don't think. Ooh. Yeah, I think he's gonna have just magic pixel. Look at that side, that's so sick. Hard knockdown, what's for breakfast? Oh! oh! Sweet, with the reversal, he call out! Too early with that throw and gets DP as well. Oh. Delicious! Mm -hmm. Get it in ya! Dretek down to the level three sparking, one bar of meter and Vegeta, last character. Sweet, electing to bring. Wants to keep the Android 21 alive. Yeah, he's got his pow pow pals. Here we go. Nice! Oh. Throw on the landing. Mm. Good stuff from Dreadtech. Alright, let's mix up this time. Nice. Sweet, mashing with Light on Wake Up. Gonna get punished for doing so. Dreads Vegeta doing absolute work in this tournament. Keeping him alive, keeping him in there. 6M, pressing buttons after we're gonna be punished for doing so. Drops! Okay, he's sparking out there. Drops the corner loop. Interesting. Bad spacing on that command there. Nice! Yes, back and low. Both players, level 3 sparking online, but down to the Android Here's 21 versus the Vegeta. Part. Where do you sparking? Yeah, you for sure. Yeah. Sweep called out for it. Good stuff by Dreadtech, bringing it back. Strong opener by Sweep, getting called out. Dreadtech comfortable in that clutch situation. Stepping away. Keeping calm, getting his water. Trade going for the water. Good idea, let's have a drink break. Yeah, good idea. Look out, he's hydrated now. Sip. <laughs> Did anyone check that water bottle? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> No, we were making the steroids jokes earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Even guilty here. Look, we've got low, low standards for humor here in Tassie. Alright, both players opening up strong. <laughs> sweep, <laughs> sweep, getting a lot of mileage out of that H in the air. I'm just waiting for the day that you get like some insane, say, like, Captain Ginyu comeback. And suddenly a bunch of water reps come in checking, <laughs> checking, have you got any performance enhancement? Yeah, you're like, no one is this good at Ginyu. Adult Gohan pr proving a problem. Oh. Sweep getting punished for his use of the reflect once again. Dread, really happy with that one. A little bit of a mini pop off as he kills the Android 21. That's the sort of momentum lead you want? This is what you want, yeah, 2 H. As it demonstrated, not does not mean the end of the game if you lose your point. Yeah, dread. Whoa. Making it back last game. Beautiful instant over instant air overhead, cross up on the side, and gonna carry it through after the dragon dash. Dragon. Nope. Level oh, one. Oh, 2H sweet. Pressing buttons on the way down. Gonna get cold out for doing so. What do we got from the level three? Straight up. Yeah, as always, Dreadtech doesn't like to go beyond level zero. Sweet. Down to his last character. Hard, hard situation for him here. Bit of a mentality break in the second game. Unfortunate to watch. We got the adult Gohan. Dreadtech getting a lot of mileage out of this character. Flying in. No you convert. Know how to deal with me? You do not know how to deal with this. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He learned. He paid attention. He watched what Dread did. Combo is going to take him back into the corner. No assist. Nothing else. Going to have to make do with the Goku Black. Tag it out? No, he can't. 6M. Bit of a tick throw there. Should be a dead character here. Oh, does not get the level three. Unfortunate. You no pain. No. The only pain is the anguish of dropping a combo. Gonna bring that adult Gohan back in. Wants the kill. Get, get him dead. Nearly had it done. Ah, oh, attempted use of the S. Gonna get punished for doing so. Lots of blue life here. Gonna be interesting to see how Sweep uses the sparking. Unlucky timing. 
watch out what they're doing. Sweep. Here we go. Dread. Two healthy characters left online. Sweep with a lot of ground to make. Here we go. Sparking combos. What are we going to see? Going to take him into the corner. Drop set. Oh, no. Uh, unlucky. Scramble. Scramble as Dread Tech hits the ground. Dread Tech. Four bars online. Not going to be enough to kill with that sparking healing, but going to get a lot of damage. Going to use up a lot of that sparking time as well. That's the main thing, just killing the time. So you want to use level 1 supers rather than 3. For sure. Sweep, 6 bars still. Yeah, don't bother vanishing because you're not going to do enough damage anyway. Yep. Just take the beam. Take that little bit of meter you got. Okay, Dread, so pressure. That this should be able to kill. Oh, no. Yeah. Sparking running out. Dread, no bars though. There we are. Sweep with the attempted run under. Gonna get caught out. Good job, Tazzy. Still some very smart play there from Sweep. Yeah, really. Not quite enough. Really strong showing in that first game. Unfortunate how he ended up in the second. Not going to be happy with that one. Tazzy's last hope, Liam in our winner's bracket. Coming up. Proz da Beast. They're back. Proz versus Da Beast. Rune's waiting for Dread taking our next match. And Lin versus Issa will be our winner's final when we get to it. Intense stuff. Uh, we have Da Beast. And we have... Prods. Prods taking himself far in this tournament. Not sure if these two have played before. I don't think they have yet. Here we're going to see a real test of character knowledge as well. Not many you Goku Blue. Do you know how to deal with Goku Blue? Do you know how to deal with Trunks? Going to be interesting for the beast. And also Hellzone. Hellzone mix ups are always going to be hard. Kid Buu, hard character to fight as well. Yep. I believe Prods was discussing problems with Kid Buu last night when we were playing with the Gith. Both players, just fun before the game. Always good to see. A bit of sportsmanship. Friendly sportsmanship. That actually caught me off guard. Where I come from, we shake hands. Nah, fist bump down here. If you so, shake hands, yes. you're going to catch a cold. <laughs> yes, that is a very good reason to stick with the fist bumping. So the first time I go, and then hmm. Yeah, yeah, you just shake someone's fit. Yes, that fun little cultural exchange that's happening. Tasmania, it's own culture. Yeah, all regions. Both players, instant air <laughs> going for the back dash to open it up, playing it careful. Yes, call out that 5H. Can't just leave those hanging. That was a very panicky looking attempt to pressure. Feed on that. Make them scared. Oh, delays there. Lots Beautiful stuff. Get crossed up. Back confirmed. in the back corner. Good confirm from Prods. You see a lot of people have a, quite a lot of trouble confirming off those kind of yeah, uh, startups. Yeah, neutral jump L in order to get stuff Yeah, going. a lot of people going underneath on that one. Oh, misses a confirm, unfortunate. The Beast getting some damage back. Pressure. Again, no, the Beast. You don't need to, you don't need to let it rip. Was not happy with that one, dropping the input. P bringing the Piccolo in, wants to keep Cell alive. Lots of blue life to recover there. Goku Blues. Oh. Attempted reflect, not punished. There we are, there's a frame trap. No confirm. Piccolo spending all his bars, he's not going to be able to hell zone. One bar, online. Oh, oh smacks him in the head. Going to take him into the sky, could be a kill here. So all the prods damage, very fun loaded. Yep. The beast is a bit more spread out. Prods losing Goku Blue is going to be a big blow here. Let's see what he can do with the other two. He might be able to spin with Trunks. Not oh. quite fast enough to get a combo off of that beam. Oh wow, look at that, homing. Oh, homing. Mm. I love it. Is that a foreshadowing what's to come, coming from behind? <laughs> oh, it confirms off the heavy into the corner. Not seeing optimal trunk stuff, but we are seeing trunk stuff. The beast pressing buttons on the way down. Taking out afterwards to be safe. It's really interesting seeing that cell tag that a lot of them are starting to pick up, the, the dash backwards. Yes, grab that. Don't respect that beast. Level 3. That is illegitimate. Ah! Uh, man, I love Trunks. That character is aesthetically very good. He's no? aesthetically very mid-90s anime. Yeah, exactly. I love that like, shit. Are you sure this guy's in Dragon Ball? He's not just from Orphan? Yeah! <laughs> Dude, now Orphan was a series. Watching uh, man, that on Toonami back project. in the day. Need my boy Isaac Newton in my animes. Manipulating love triangles. That's my jam. Back in the day, watching Adult Swim, having that orphan into Evangelion, into <laughs> Cowboy Bebop, that was my shit. Alright, Prod's going down two characters. The Beast, strong. After a bit of a uh, shaky start against the Goku, Blue, gonna see quite a lot of work being done. 
potential for an activation. The Prods can take it. It's really interesting seeing. Oh, oh man! Good what tech. A throw tech. It's interesting to see from a lot of these teams today how people who are multi-gaming seem to be having a bit of a problem with their teams. You see they'll have one strong character and then two characters which maybe uh, they're solid with. They're really quite... they're not bad by any means, but at the same time not as strong as that main character. Yeah, well, I mean, that's traditional, the team composition logic that you'll learn in team games is. Yeah. Pick two top tiers and a character you like. Yeah, exactly. And that's usually a good way to start building your plan as you learn how the game works. I saw a very high quality tweet the other day about DBZ talking about how everyone picks three characters and then eventually you swap one of those characters for Goku Black or Cell and then you realise that you probably should just be playing Goku Black, Cell and whatever the hell and else. Vegeta. Yeah. It's really interesting actually that we don't see that much of Goku Black, Cell and Vegeta. People tend to pick a couple and then they're like, no, I won't be that boring. Well, I mean, we're at the point where we're still working things out about the game. Yeah. And we're also at the point where there's... Good no stuff by the base. There's still a lot of tech to be discovered. Yeah. You're not seeing a lot of... People are starting to optimise so, in I mean, this game. Also, yeah, we're also starting to get specific shells besides just Goku Black and Vegeta. And Absolutely. So. It's really great seeing this kind of stage in any game that comes out. It's good to see that DBZ is unique enough that we're having this kind of thing happen. Roll level 3 prods, maybe reaching a little bit with that one. Again, we're seeing that uh, super dash into the back dash into flips. Good pressure by the beast. This is going to be it. First round going up. First game goes to the beast. Prods not watching his feet there at the last minute. Not able to make that miracle happen. DBZ, one of these games with just so much to think about. So much of it happens so fast. Even compared to Guilty Gear, Guilty Gear is much, much more mechanically demanding. I think anyone would be happy to agree with that. But at the same time, DBZ, the pace of play is so quick. Uh, it's, th there is a lot mentally going on in Guilty Gear at any yeah. one time. Yeah, but, for sure. Whereas DBZ, its neutral game is so unique. Yeah, exactly. Because you're essentially doing a lot of what happens in things like Virtual Fighter is how you open people up. Yep. But it's happening from three quarters of the screen away. Yeah, exactly. It's like, where are the spots where it's good to home? Where are the spots where it's good to be anticipatory with the 2H? Yeah. When should you be using your key boss? Good use of the 2H there. Speak of the devil and it shall appear. 2H going to catch down him in the corner. The zone. We got the ball though. We're seeing really the opposite from the Beast compared to Issei in that previous game. Lots of use of the meter. Do never has really more than one or two bars online. It is a fairly meter hungry team. Yeah, exactly. Especially if you want to really... With the piccolo. But well, certainly we're at the point where... You're going to see people spending a lot of meter just because Vanish is so useful. Oh, 2H oh, getting called out by the cross-up. Attempting to mash out with that Trunks auto combo of double lights. Got to snap him out. Yes. Wants to get rid of that Goku oh. I love that. Piccolo. Beautiful Incoming work. Incoming Hagger grab. You're in the air. Eat it. No. Or takes himself to the ground. 2H, gonna catch him. The Beast getting so much mileage out of these 2Hs. He knows when Prods wants to come in. Catching him out of the air. He that one out by jumping and then quickly falling to the ground. Aha, you're in the air now. Mm. Mm. Oh man. Bad vanish. It's really interesting seeing the sort of tech meta that's developing with this game as well. We're not seeing quite so much of it this today. We're seeing quite a lot of safe, but safe play. But at the same time, oh, beautiful cross up. Um, seeing that in high level play. People like uh, Goichi, people like Sonic Fox, electing for the down tech more and more as people get used to the game. Oh, attempt to reflect, gonna get oh, yeah, stuffed well, out. Like, learning how to blow up up tech is the first thing you need to do when actually learning how to yeah. play this game. Becomes, you gotta have a bit of a mind game. Confirms? Yep. The beast losing cell. Yeah, like, 2v2. It's about blowing up swappy play rather than yeah, for sure. the default notice operandi. Yeah. The overhead and the assist. Prods, a absolute oh. god of confirming off of that Trunks assist. Using the 6M, confirming the Trunks assist into a combo. Unfortunately, drops it in the air, but still. Really impressive play. Oh no, he runs into the assist, but not fast enough for Big Green to catch up. Bit of a scramble there, both players pressing buttons. The Beast winning out, going to take him into the corner. We have enough meter. What are we going to see? Hellzone? Hellzone. Hellzone time. There's What's the mix going. up? Going just delay there, dash. Good blocks by Prods. Oh, 6M. No confirm. Don't get shook. He got shook. That was so wacky. Really, really good play by DeBeast. Prod's not sure what's going on there. And special beam cannon. Specially beamed out of the existence of this game. All right, Prod's down to his last character. Level 3 sparking online. Trunks, what can we do? Seven bars as well. He has a lot of resources to spend here. Getting a bit flustered. Nice reflex. Steez. Staying patient, staying back. Oh no, every time it works. The Beast. Probably going to see a bit of a Hellzone mix up here. I can't imagine he has enough meter to finish off. 
I mean, he had the meter, but he didn't spend on the knockdowns. So. Yeah. Lots. So stressful. Yeah. Tick throw. Dead. Dead Piccolo. I love Dead. this Trunks tick throw. Dread Tech swearing in the crowd, hatred of Trunks coming to the fore. Kid Boo. Arguably the beast's best character. Does have the level 3 sparking online as well. He's such a frustrating character to deal with. Yeah. And all that. 2H. Even the frustration part is just really solid 2H game. Oh. all his characters. Tries to catch the up tech. Yeah. Good stuff. The beast, 2 0. Going through, Frog out of the tournament. As Rudis and Dread Tech will be making their way up to the seats. Victoria versus New South Wales. Rudis, one of the New South Welsh. Welsh. System plays blue vets. With a hitbox. I have to say, it's really impressive seeing the diversity of community that's come into DBZ. We're seeing Marvel players, we're seeing anime players, everyone coming into this sort of, sort of shared space. Dragon Ball Z is the universal language of the planet Earth. Yeah. Like, did, you did can you be somewhere, you can be somewhere in Mexico, you can be somewhere in Japan, in the United Arab Emirates, India. You show them Goku. Gumsha lying in a crater, they will all laugh for the exact same reason. That's a geek. Yeah, they know what's up. Do you see in Mexico uh, the, oh, the, mass the massive crowd where they uh, aired one episode oh, yeah, 130 yeah, of DB screen. Super? Yeah. Apparently the uh, embassy did not like that one. Japan sent a message through to them. <laughs> Alright, Renee nice. Dreadtech getting into it. Goku Black Music, we want that orchestral. Dreadtech stretching out, limbering up. I thought you were going to talk about the strip bar that was offering a free lap dance to anyone at the, at the local screen in their strip bar if Goku won the fight against Jiren. They read the spoilers. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys, this isn't a spoiler free stream. <laughs> Alright, Dread Tech, Renee's getting into it. Yeah, sorry, no spoilers here. Goku was a slip. <laughs> guys, I don't know if it really counts as a spoiler saying uh, Goku wins anymore. Goku achieves a new form and surpasses his limits. <laughs> Except this time it's some deep yeah, OC go. with go white on. hair. Yeah man, they escaped skate 5. The this legend. is where you do Dragon not... Ball AF. This Come is where you soon. don't want to be. Renee's managing to get himself out of the corner against it. Adult Gohan. Misses the combo confirm. He's up back loomings. Android Dragon 21. Here we go. That's the pressure, jumping out. Dreadtech goes for the delay there. Kills him? No. no. Heavy. Smash. Confirm. Good stuff by Renee. It's going to confirm. Really impressive yesterday, seeing this team that he's put together, how he can just get this full stage carry off of One any beam. hit. Gotta get the other beam. He no, is. With the and the this could be dead. Damage. No, not dead. Yes, dead. Yep. Prince is in. What's he got? What's the setup? Android 21 with a lot of that blue life. He's trying to instant air that way in. Prince of Saiyans. Get the beat. Master of strategy. Dreadtech attempting the 2 edge, they're going to get stuffed out by the change of the future. Does get it this time though, taking the Prince of Saiyans into the air, drops his combo, unfortunate. Look at that ball. That's exactly what he needs, just get in, all oh, flying through the beams. Dreadtech going to stuff here. Renee's missing to confirm on the trunks. Auto combos, we love it. Okay, how many balls does he have now? Confirming into the 21. Three balls. Two beams available now, and level, level three. three. I think this will leave him with a magic pixel. And 21 level nah, dead. The best. Oh, no, yeah. you're right. That does scale so, so hard. Yeah, he's got all the beams now. He's got ground beam, targeting beam. All the beams are good ones. All he needs now is a teleport. Then he can be a real jerk. And <laughs> then we can have these infinites online. Good stuff there by Renace. Jumping over the attempt to grab. Going to take him full stage. Again, using this combo that he has put together himself. Misses the confirm. Unfortunate. Okay, he's gone. I'm trying to remember what move that is that he just stole. Uh, who who did he steal it from? The Vegeta. Oh my God, the command grab. Because they're like, you really want the teleport, but, but you'll take the command grab. Level one, punishing it. Boom. Good. Damage. Stuff by Renace. Would have been a dead character of Renace. What? Trunks is such a wacky character, dude. Look at that cross up works every time. Dread take pressing buttons. Gonna get the swap in. Wants to catch Vegeta coming in. 
Yeah, so patient. Uses yeah, okay. the trunks, man. Does not have the meter. meter. Again! Need the meter. Again! Can't block it. Too fast. Runeis, loving that. Feeling himself. Mr. Dreadtech, stand up, please. Honestly, from talking to Runeis, I don't think there's a moment where that guy is not feeling himself. He loves seeing this kind of thing happen. Dreadtech taking Runeis into the corner. One ball. Does he have loop? No, he does not. He... Dreadtech with a lot of meter online here. Five bars and the sparking. Going to take the trunks out of the equation. Andro 21 with not a lot of life left. He can even this up. Quick smart. Homing in. The opportunity. Yeah. Man, Renee's. 21 super isn't involved, but it's airborne really freaking early on. Yeah. Which allows him to disrespect so many options. Auto much combo. Like, much like an up back homing does. Yeah. Renace goes out the game. Dreadtech looking a bit lost there at times. Bastards. Oh, beautiful stuff. Dreadtech got that adult Gohan back online. Let's see what he can do. Always love seeing Dreadtech's adult Gohan, to be perfectly honest with you. Like, no sarcasm whatsoever. He is a brilliant thinker with this character. Dreadtech in general is just such a gun. Yeah. You cannot be part of the Australian FGC and I love that guy. Goes to the two, I'm gonna get caught on the way down, no confirm. Using the Vegeta assist to herd Renace into that corner. Good range on that two M. Amazing confirm. I'm gonna take him all the way to the wall here. Steals. One beam for twenty one. He wants that beam. Ooh. Dreadtech popping the sparking early, wants to keep out of Gohan alive, gonna get all of that blue life back. Like, he needs to change up his strategy, and that's exactly what he's doing here. Yeah, I, I really agree with that use of the sparking early. Yeah, like, it can give you such good dividends, just the fact that while your opponent's point character can be getting worn down. Oh no, but not watching for the Vegeta. Really seeing. Way out, but no. Level 3, <laughs> might be left with a magic pixel. Uh, maybe. Nope. Yep. Right starter. That Android 21 Airborne Super is so steezy. Look, if you look like that, give me your number. Here we go, Air Beams. Air Beams, want to go for some Banjo's runs? Yeah. Bring us some baked goods, what we need. Jumping out of that one, oh, does not want to deal with the pressure. I've <laughs> still got that cake that I begged the other day, sitting in the hotel. <laughs> Good confirm by Dread Tech. Oh, drops it. Renes uses the range on Android 21's medium so, so well. He's really willing to play that middle distance. Yeah, oh, that's... In Blaze Blue, that's the distance he has to be all the time when he's playing mine. So. Right. He's got the habits, that muscle memory. He knows. That, awareness. that combo... Oh, that throw. That's a dead dread. That combo was disgusting. Three quarters of the life gone straight away. Confirms off of the Dragon Rush and manages to finish up Dreadtech. Dreadtech down to the Vegeta. No sparking. Three characters to deal with. He has to do a legit, honest comeback. He's playing Street Fighter while they're playing Marvel. <laughs> legit, honest comeback. Going to get stuffed out by that very dishonest Dragon Punch into auto combo. <laughs> Dreadtech not going to die to it again. But the Trunks auto combos immediately takes him back into the corner. That's switching. Constantly tagging out here. He has enough meter, that's it. Oh, the whole team. Yep, that's it. Good stuff. Dead tech has been eliminated from the tournament. DBZ over for him, still got taken up later. Renace. The beast to fight next. And we'll see if he'll do that before or after this fight. Renace feeling himself over that combo. That was disgusting. Alright, the beast is coming up. Here we go. One more fight for the life. Fight for the right. To party. At least third place. Gu guaranteed money. Big esports gosh. We're actually going to have winners finals before these two get into All right, it. Alright, we're going to do it. Lim versus Issa. Well then, fighting for the chance to potentially be guaranteed at least second place. Precious, precious, winner's final advantage. Want that winner's bracket. Lim running off, he's going to be back. Lim doing what all of us want to do, just running out of the venue. 
quick break for everyone here. So while we got the chance, big shout out to our sponsors, Area 52, for hosting our event and always being such a supporter for the Tasmanian FGC. Big well, this shout out. Area, this, was, this is my first time coming down to the Area 52. This venue was so good, man. Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome that we have such a constant setup too. We didn't have to rent out this venue for the event. We always have game setups down the back and we've always got the hobby store downstairs. It's a really great place. If you're down in Tasmania and are a nerd, please come and visit. Um, also, they got what you want. They got books. They got games. They got cardboard games. Everything you can want. If you're a weeb, just head up the back, dude. <laughs> also, big shout out to Principal Computers, our other sponsor for this event, uh, providing us with pricing. Really, really good guys down here in Tassie, uh, head, head out and check them. They also have a website, principalcomputers.com.au. If you need repairs, if you need a computer, hit them up. It's usually noted next time I'm living in Tasmania. Yeah, next time you are living in Tasmania, hit them up. If you are currently living in Tasmania, just hit them up now. It's a taking limbs absence as a chance to take the one piece side. We're gonna have a redo of the Venus pools. We're gonna see Lynn take too long and get DQ'd. So <laughs> that what happened earlier? It was a 10 a.m. anime tournament on a Sunday. Yeah. I messaged Sam at 9.30 in the morning when I woke up in a hungover haze. I was like, dude, I am not gonna be there. I'm so sorry. That's <laughs> cool. Everyone who didn't show up would have been free to me anyway. Yeah, we know. That's it. Everyone coming down, like, our local Eunice thing sucks. So everyone's just like, wow, this is a bit of fun. Anime guys come down for Eunice, just shit on everyone. Hey, it's a fun game. It is a fun game. I love Eunice. Eunice is like my favorite game that I have discovered recently. Like, I picked it up and played it, and as soon as I played it, that game feels so clean. There's one thing French Bread are very, very good at. It's gameplay. All their games, mm. everything is just the right amount of... Just, yeah, just yeah. the right amount of matching that always feels visceral. Just, you're so engaged when you're playing them. Yeah. I really do love that you get it spot on the head. That game feel really feels visceral. It's got that kind of weight, like almost like a Monster Hunter game. When you land a hit, it yeah. feels like you land a hit. <laughs> Alright, it's a limb getting into it. Which is something this game also does well. Yeah, for sure. Like, if a big hit stop moves, it's the right move, so it doesn't slow down the pace of the game. Mm. But it really has that weight, man. You goofed up. Yeah. That 2H is gonna kill you now, so. Arxis have that really beautiful way of merging game mechanics with game feel. You can see with 2Hs, any of these zoom-in moves becoming a game mechanic, but at the same time contributing so well to how it feels to play the game. Alrighty, I'm still it's a grouchy old man and would like to remove all cutscenes from... <laughs> yeah. They do look good. It's right. A, both players opening strong. In that block. Oh my god, what a confirm from Lim. Nasty stuff. No conversion there. Hit pressure in the corner. You do not want to be dealing with this. And a regular throw. More damage than the command throw would have given. Gonna take him up into the air, bring him back down. Three bars on line. What are we doing? Walking forward. That's so terrifying. Nearly baited it out. Lim is a monster. 2 H. He was waiting for that. He knew. Both players, so patient. It's a playing very respectfully. Lim also playing very respectfully and recognizing it. Overhead. Confirms. Lim is so good at that confirm. Punch. Through. He is going to kill right now. Dead. D E D dead. Lim coming out strong. It's a down a character already. Call outs. Jumps up. I love it. What's the mix up? Not much of a mix-up there, just remembering how to control the game. Oh, oh disgusting. Got to confirm, going to take him into the corner here. Uses the bar but falls out. It's a with the 2M. Takes him into the corner. This is a chance to really do some damage, bring it back against Lim's team. Mm, empty jump throw. Empty jump throw. Going to take him down. Five bars online. It's a pretty, yeah, it's a pretty famous so far. No overheads from Kid Boo. Double empty jump into the low. That is disgusting. It's a. Justin Wong. Good stuff. It's a. Bring it back. It's a. Operating with a lot of meter online as well. No confirm after 2M. Oh, no confirm. D E D Kid Boo. Down to, once again, the Prince of Saiyans. And those precious hits. Oh. Ball, but not in ball enough. He wasn't flaming. <laughs> is he coming down with the super dash? Lin is so good at those reflects. Single reflect, confirming into the combo. 
And Hit is such a good character for Thor Reflect Punch. Yeah, so much forward momentum. Unblockable! Ah, uh, but no combo off it. Doesn't need it! I am blown oh, away man. by Lim. This guy is a monster! Look at how much he's punching him at once! This is the stance. Not dead. It's fucking keeping him alive. Oh no, don't throw it away, not like this, Lim. Alright, so level three. Final flash, wearing down that that sparking. Sparking damage, but it's gonna go a long way here. Mix up, rushing it again. Oh, no two edge. Playing full screen, both players. Liam electing to bring the Beerus in. Get that extra life bar in. Might as well. Got yep. Plenty of resources, plenty of life, plenty of opportunity. To take your time. Liam playing such a patient game. Oh my god, that Beerus confirmed. So long. Tiny stretchy boys. That's it, man. Steez. He's gone. He's out of here. He's out of here, but he's not gone. That's when he doesn't go to black. This will be this will be three out of five. If guilty it was, then this definitely. Yeah, for sure. All right, Lim, going up again. Is there still with a lot of time to adapt here? Once again, starting out with hit pressure. Yes. Oh, oh drops are confirmed. Really Gets tagged by that beam. Nice. Let's go Blocks the cross up. Really? Take the throw. Yeah. It seems he throws is so stressful in this game. Yeah, it really is. Seems to be a bit of a uh, golden bullet for Lim so far. Throws being a bit of a weakness for him. Doing. Using that meter. Bang, to get the kill. This is gonna do it. Oh, magic oh, pixel. No 2H. That beer is in there. Oh, Lim is a monster. I don't know, man. Like, how do you do that? This play the cell neutral with twice the reach. <laughs> oh, yes, the double cross up. Mix ups. You're not blocking that. Oh. No drop. Takes out the TN. Prince of Saiyan's coming in, looking quite upset at the predicament. I don't think there's ever a he's moment where Vegeta. Yeah, upset yeah. About something. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I saw it. He wins. He's grouchy. I saw a clip the other day on Twitter of like the original Dragon Ball anime back in the day, where Vegeta is like incubating Goku to heal him, oh, and he just yeah. sits there and goes, "Mondo cool, boys. Mondo cool." Comes down with the heavy, gonna confirm off the turn. Good damage here for the Kid Boo. No super loss, mix up, dodge it away. And that scramble is scary. Ooh, the teleport out, running down, do the vanish. Using vanish, gonna even it up. It's there with a slight lead now. Both players sparking online, large amount of meter. Where's the hit? This is the stairs. That was not the stance. He was not invincible that time. Getting opened up by the Kid Boo pressure. Crash. Getting opened up by Kid Boo is an accurate description of fighting. Yeah. It's more of a torn kind of. Oh, it's time to call out. Yes, running right to that ball. Oh my god, the reflect, dude. Okay. Not able to come on the dash. Starting to get that pressure. Let's mix up. Overhead. Overhead. That was low. Here we go. This is going to be a kill. Not respecting that jump in. Special, Special beam cannon. Both players. One full character. Five bars of meter. And a level 3 spark. What he needs is a debuff move. Where he uses clothes beam. And just weighted clothing on that. Instant confirm into the level 3. Once that damage. damage. You want as much damage as you can before that sparking happens. Ooh, no confirm off it. Doesn't use the vanish. Piccolo really made it hungry. You're going to see a lot of management from Lim here. Both players playing some Street Fighter neutral. It's a using the sparking. Lim, lots of blue life. Hit. 
this dead. All shots, final flash. Nah, I think he'll be a bit alive. Lots of boy life to get back. Oh, yeah, magic pixel, oh, activate. Lynn, stay in. Hellzone, what's for breakfast? Lynn, what's the mix up? Oh, oh beautiful oh, tech by Issei. Oh, Lynn, confirming. Sparking, keeping these characters alive. Level 3. Sparking oh, over for Issei. What is the mix up? Cross up. Oh, into the level 3. That's dead. Yeah. Lynn, two up. Mess that kid Julian walking up for the mid set coaching. Lim knows what's up. Julian running in. Save his boy. Gotta stay off. Scotty Shanao. Gonna take Lim into the corner, straight up with the Kibu. Half health. Oh. Chases him into the air. Oh, Lim misses the two, the aerial 2 H confirm. Uses the H coming in. Ooh. Empty jump over. Good reflect. Beerus assist. Both players. Oh. Both players using these heavies. Lim, delay. Opening his A up. Gonna get the hard knockdown. Oh, attempted oh, read. Oh, double reflect. Doesn't get punished for doing so, but does not manage to open his A up with that one. Back off. That ball, running to Vegeta again. Gets slammed. Yeah. Oh, man. He's got the Z on his side this time. Double overhead. Say with the cross up and the low. Volleyball. This could be a kill. Should be a kill. Should be, yeah. Yeah, that's good. D.E.D. Issei taking in the early character lead. Lim with the hit and Beerus left on line. Okay, Beerus has the hunger, the desire to win. Mostly just the hunger for free. <laughs> and the You know what it was? Just needed to get rid of all that purple in it. All those non-purple characters in his team. Now he's just got purple characters. Easy win. Again, That's double better. cross up. Good block by Issei. Oh my Steady god, this pressure. Down, whittling him down. Auto Get combo. Busted, then do the cross up. Drops it. Unfortunate. Oh, confirm. Really good confirm by SA. When he's using that jump to him as the punish. It's amazing. It's way Ooh. Oh! Vanishes. Fading out the kid food. Beerus ball pressure. Starting up. Gonna see a reflex? Yes. We are. Nice! Two H, SA. Sparking, electing to try and get right in again. Is a starting to call out these dashes of Lim. Level three. Oh, oh level one. Work. It's beam in the way. Thanks for playing. Out there, immediately trying to counter vanish, but very high up, so not much offered. Always a scary proposition. Lim really needing to close out a character. Vanish. Work. Both players playing such a patient neutral. And you do not want to be going in. Especially like, he's got seven yeah! bucks. Lim opening him up with the Dragon Rush. Oh, drops it. Unfortunate. Drops. drops really killing Lim here. As they always do, the trick is to keep calm. They let it bust you. It happens to all of us. Supercharged. Hit coming online. Aerial Age. Overcommitment as the guard cancel happens. Yes, five through. Nor that Vegeta assist. Yeah. And Command throw. Confirms. Gonna get a decent okay, chunk of damage here. Correct. Oh! oh! Double. Man, that sick filth. Double crosser. That was disgusting. Who's gonna block that? Absolutely vile. Look, this you is could, why no one likes Tien. Yeah. You could look. You could do that to like Goichi and he would be like, man, that's pretty impressive. Woo! Call out! Lim, can he close it out with Beerus? The grab, this should be dead. Oops. Disappears. Goodbye, Tian. 
Liam, still a lot of work to do, no sparking to work with. Yes, honest play from Liam, perhaps to come up. You say, he can do whatever he wants. He's got Vegeta backing up blue assists. Blue mix ups. Scary stuff. You say, walking into the beer spells. Oh, no confirm. Well, hey, that, that's the trick. You always gotta test if they can actually combo off of you running into a beer spell. Yeah. And usually Lim can. Oh! Two H. Oh, Lim. Lim, no. Still not a single DP yet from him this game. Yeah. Lim may be suffering a little bit from the pressure. Seeing lots of drops here. That's it. It's A, getting a game on the board. Two more wins required for that coveted winner's position in grand final. Both players jumping straight back into it. Opening again, once again, strong hit opening, yes, combos, Lows. drops, yes. resets into the grab. This should possibly, oh, these drops, what is going on? Lim's controller broke. Keep it simple, mate. Kiss, keep it simple, Susie. Oh, drops from SA as well. Dashes back out of the pressure, wants to play that mid stage. Low again. Ball. Mix up this time. Jita. Bring the Piccolo in. Piccolo not having as but not actually confirming it. Piccolo not having much of a role to play in that previous match. Kid Boo assist. Gonna do work there. Two H takes him in Yeah, I think people slept a bit on how effective Kid Boo assist is. Yeah. And doing a very similar job to Vegeta. Yeah. While having a much more irritating character to have on the first or second. Yeah, exactly. I think the big difference there, though, is that Vegeta being airborne really, really gives him a lot of safety with that assist. Dead? Not dead. Oh. No! So tragic every time. Shout to coming like in. This if you cry every time. Yeah, yeah. All right, Liam got a lot of work to do. Definitely capable of making it through. Very greedy, pulling that hit assist. Very panicky. Command throw. I just want to have stuff out on the screen, but then he's not around when I need him. Mm. Yeah, that that was better. He's up close. On the ground. Mm. Hard read. Oh no. Man, this is Drops. disheartening for Liam. Do it. Relentless Dragon Rush, but no power. Tick throw. Tick throw. Gonna be a dead character here. Beam. Oof. Hit, level 3 sparking, 6,000 meter. There you go, Agent 43 is a hit man. Will he be able to achieve his mission? He's gonna get an F on his scorecard. No confirm off the racker. Justin Wong mix up. Nice. Get knocked out overhead. and overhead, yes. Oh, dodges the command throw. For that grab. Yeah. Oh, the Jitter assist Jeter. interrupting. Master strategy <laughs> coming into play. Let me just put this on the screen real fast. Oh, oh wow. What? Oh. Bit of a scramble. Lim winning out, not taking a lot of damage throughout that sequence. But that is the stunts. <laughs> And he's red. Misses it. Oh man. Hard read on that counter does not pay off. Screwing the more patient at this point. Final flash. Not enough to kill. They're gonna be damn close. Next up, we'll do it. There we are. Sparking. This could be dead. Nah. Point kill. Is the meter for it? Sparking healing is gonna go a long way here. DP. Overcommitting to those pressure strings and just getting a jab. It's a really starting to use that DP more and more as the game goes on. Oop. Got the straight hit, but it's hard. It's hard to convert. Go to head. Get that Tekken meta going. <laughs> Tack him on those straight hits. Get him scared. Here we go. Is there wanting that kid booing, not having my fucking kid? Same side frame trap. This could be a dead character. Oh. 
Oh. The sparking. The the full flight. sparking though. Let's see what's gonna happen. No. All vanishes, protect. Good tech. Good read. Oh, Overhead. It's a evening it up 2-2. Two, two. Right down here. Come on, Lemmy. Stress, you, the pain, the anguish, the free massage. You can do this. We're going to let this bias slip. Come on, Tasmanians. Let's hear it from them. Tassie boys aren't even going to give their own boy a massage. Let's go with Tassie. Liam, taking a moment. <laughs> Opening of the all important fifth match. No tag. Is they going to take him into the air? For once, not the initial lead for him. Mm. Mix up. Double overhead. Nice. Good confirms. Liam. Liam popping off, he's hyped for this. <laughs> Liam taking a lot of early damage. It's a bit of a change of pace, yes. electing to use the meter early. Liam going down a character early. Sweeb nodding in the crowd. Familiar feeling for him. I'm hungry for your win. It's a no tech on the tick throw. Whoa. Oh, unlucky. Too early. So much block stone. It says input, so clean. First cross up, here's the next cross up coming. Oh, come on. Roll out command throw, this one's gonna hurt. Push, push, push. Anything afterwards, yes. Kid to assist. Oh, it's up from before, it's back. That's disgusting. Limp, down to the piccolo. Can he make this work? It's a going hard in the paint. This round, oh! The mix up's back. Is he gonna go for it again? Alright, here we go, Piccolo. Piccolo, jumping over the throw. Special. Frack is gonna confirm off it. Take him up into the air. The spiking healing doing a lot of work, but Lim has so much to do. It's really unfortunate, Lim looking quite lost in this set. He had so much control to begin with, but mm. falling out of the groove. He says he's just playing out of his mind. It's really a bit of a horrible situation when you start to drop combos like that. It gets in your own head. Yeah. It absolutely does. No! He <laughs> said, moving on to grand finals. Seven All the way from Japan. Three to blow up over. The run back. Down. 2 0. Back up. There you go. Alrighty. Beast and Runus, back to an Aussie match. Then despondently walking away from that setup, contemplating what he's doing. Going back to the other Tasmanian DBZ players, you know he's going to have a lot to talk about. Trying to figure out what went wrong in that match and uh, see what he can to get the support group going, lend him in our energy. The Beast and Runus, setting up. Issei and his kid boo could turn into an oob. Oob, yeah. Man, if they added Oob to this game, that'd be so sick. Even as like a skin. Oob's not been in the game for a while. Man, I would be so down for an Oob skin of Gibbo, rather than just a GT interpretation of that guy. Yeah. It's way more interesting. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, the character I want most of this game, the Dell. Who? The Dell. Oh, the Dell? Yep, respect. Yeah. yeah. With great Sam and assist? Yeah. Yeah. Have her as like a uh, sort of 18, 17 equivalent where yep. it's a character called assist. Alrighty, both of these players going to space. Music selection, what do we got? Land of the Kai's music. Good choice, good choice. When are we going to get Janemba? <laughs> First form Janemba. Big yellow marshmallow. Like that might be a bit niche. <laughs> Who opens the gates to hell? A bit niche. They put Bardock in the game. Hey man. Bro I took, I, Broly I can understand because he had three movies. But when's Bio Broly? Bardock's iconic though. I won't hear otherwise. Alright, Renee. Opening up against the Beast. The beast with the 2H. Oh, Renee's dropping his combo. Unusual for him. 
you can see the nerves playing into these into these matches. He's not a big fan of his pressure, but he mm. off that time. Ooh, drops it. No corner combo. Okay, one bar for Piccolo. Yeah. Big green. Crosser. Spin on that bar. Interesting to see in the uh, cell strings to see Rune's Electrico Airborne. Don't know how good that is. You can definitely see Rune's is putting that lab work every time he does this combo. Right. He's got. He's got the move that he most wants. Yeah. Because in the corner, this is where you get S teleport, S teleport, S teleport, S teleport. Yeah. That is painful. Let's see if he knows it. Does he know it? He doesn't. I'm gonna go for the level three. This isn't gonna kill. I'm gonna sky away way, way, way too hard. But he's, he's gonna get the hard knockdown. As you say, he does it both of them now. So Ooh. next hit should be big damage for 21. The beast gets character out. Too high, cannot do stuff there. Renee's taking the turn. Renee's really determined to play with the Android 21. Have a lot of blue light to recover, but really keeping her in there. Once again, confirming with the trunks assist. The Vegeta assist. How far are we going? This 90% auto come. Oh, it drops it! Uh, last second runes, what are you doing? So you give away a match. Escape. Fall and jump it. Last overhead. Double the Piccolo with no bar is barely a Piccolo at all. Instant, level one, gonna call out the base for that early aggression. Big green with that sort of bar. Right. Oh, goes over the top of Kibu, no punish. Trump's popping up the wrong way. The base confirming. Gonna be a kill. The beast has gotta feel some relief about that one. You don't wanna have let Renace have that end of twenty one. He's been looking seriously uh, quite a lot less confident with his other characters as we've seen. But at the same time, very capable of closing out matches. No tech. No tech. The Beast taking this pressure, gonna take it to the air. Got a little bit of meter online. Alex not using the Hellzone. No! Get scoops, Sonic! Raw level 3. He dead. He's so dead. Man, talking about this 10 foot toss, short is much flashier in this game. <laughs> oh. Get him in the air. Alright, Vegeta assist. That's the mix up! Overhead! Does not have the meter to confirm off it. Doesn't matter, push him to the corner. That move does leave you quite right negative. Back. Trying to press buttons when he definitely should not be pressing buttons. <laughs> Running into that beam. Not smart stuff ideas. Nice. Oh, oh yes. Good stuff by the base. Swapping the trunks back in. The base really wants to get rid of this character. Trunks mix up. Yes. That's really calm block the trunks cross up. Go. Confirms off the mid screen normal. Wasn't from the anime grab again. Managed to get trunks oh. back out. Oh, oh. landing punishment. Yo. The beast Balls. going for two dragon rushes in a very oh. short period of time. You only need one more ball. And they won't be in it yes. one minute longer. Man, if Renee actually summons Shenron, I'm gonna lose my shit. The opportunity. Oh, he does. He has a wings of getting that auto combo. Oh, here it comes. Here we go. Match that auto combo. No! He delivered us. Roll level three. Oh! Wins out. The beast. Kid who wins. And now Runus is lacking in bars. Oh, no. He's close. He's close. Still the opportunity. Renee still has this sparking online. Oh. Call out. The flash. Did it connect? It did! The base getting called out for that one. Take pressure strings. Renee's ready for that level 3. Look at that. Destroying that poor asteroid. There's not even an extra dimensional deployment happening on it. Look, I don't know. I don't know how to feel that sorry for that asteroid. I feel like they've done a lot of harm to planet Earth in most anime and sci fi continuums. It turns out it's okay to destroy the world if you have an ability to just wish Freeze it back. back. <laughs> oh, Dragon Ball. It just reminds me of Monty Python. Oh, we destroyed yeah. the world. It got better, though. <laughs> the Beast. Call out on Renace. Go into the Piccolo. Look at that extension. Really, really good confirms so. there. Kid Boo, out of range. All those are flakes. The beast keeping that pressure up. Two H. Beast with those two H's. Cannot confirm. Too close to the wall. 
That kid boot assist. Putting in work. Such a long period to confirm. Ah, uh, Drop the elbow. So, drop it in there. Renee's gonna have a thing or two to say about this one. The cross up, it doesn't block the second one. This is that corner. Can he get out? Ooh, too early! Good confirm. Gonna leave it, gonna be patient. Gonna take Renee's back into the corner. Misses with the follow up. Yeah, I think he's yeah, Make him. Renee's getting punished for this raw use of level threes that he's been such a fan of. Hellzone. What's the mix up? Empty jump road. What a mix up. Ah, oh, drops a it. Mix up. A mix up from Piccolo? That's impossible! Nani? That's fine. He did. Trunks getting killed in that exchange. Runes losing half the health off of the Vegeta from that one as well. Auto combos. Going to take the beast in the air. Runes has so much work to do if he wants to try and win this game. Got four balls. Five balls. He's looking for it now. 2H. Call out. This should be dead. Yes. Special beam cannon. And an energy field. Just be safe. It's a good measure. The beast evening it up really quickly. No, I it's bound to something. Rene is claiming issues with his controller. Melee going nuts over in the corner. You know, it's been weird. I don't know if it's because I don't know if you're using 20XDX or what, but it's been so weird to be at a fighting game event. And I don't have this Orme race just ringing in the back of my mind the entire weekend. It is the sound of fighting game events. Yeah. You don't really hear the sticks, it's always just GameCube controllers. It's just... You know, the, the, the clacking is nowhere near as noticeable as just... The smell of melee players? I, I encountered some spells this weekend, it did not come from the melee players. <laughs> No, the, the clacking is nowhere near as noticeable to me as the ball man race. Yeah. That is what enters my subconscious. Oh, Renace opening up with the 2M, using that range on Android 21 to open up. Gonna take the beast right into the corner. Steal those teleports. This is gonna hurt. Mm. Bad jump. Bad jump. 2H is gonna take him back into the corner. The beast being punished. Crap. Give me that cell back. The beast knows what's up. Electing to use the meter. Stay safe there. Not confirming with that one. Change the future. Not connecting. Yeah, good, I respect. I respect this stack is a lot more. Yeah. Than the random water pilot again to 5M that he was 5H. Good call out 2H. He's been so on point with his 2H. Yeah. You can tell it's not even. It's partly a reaction thing. Like he, But he's always looking for it. Really good play by Renee there, staying on the ground, delaying the wake up to throw off the beast's timing. This missed. That's a very bad drop by Renee. They have no idea how he thought that was going to hit. So it was so high up. But doesn't suffer for it in the end. The beast being kind enough to give him the character anyway. Again, these two M openers. Star 3 M. A strong stuff. Start gonna stick the spike up. You get knocked down, it's your own fault, that's... Yeah. Gonna hurt. No, not a problem. Nice. Jumps up. Auto combo. Combo. Get D. those balls. Look out for them all. The beast, dying. <laughs> Melee boys, screaming. Love to hear it in the background. Ah, oh, auto combo does not connect. But the beast with the call out to H, once again. The beast has a lot of work to do, but also has the resources to do it. Got a lot more work to do now. A lot more. This is all going to be blue life though, so the sparking does become a hell of a lot more useful. Safely manages Order. to use it. As long as he doesn't get hit right now. Which he does. Okay. Sparking. Look at all these balls he's getting. On five. Number Confirms. 14. Oh, drops it. Mistimes the 2H. He knew it was coming. He was ready with that 2H, but just unfortunately missed times. Level three. Safe. Here we go. Here comes the order combo. Here we go. One more ball. Oh, try to confirm. You gotta use the heavy version of that special to it. This should be just dead. Dead. 
shaking hands, Marinus advances in that loser's final. Who are you playing against him? Lynn versus Marinus. Marinus winning by accident, by the sound of it. Marinus revealing that everything he did was in fact unintended. He doesn't deserve to be here. It always feels bad when you lose to a opponent and they're like, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. There's a saying in professional wrestling mm -hmm. where you're at a Go climactic on. moment but you accidentally start bleeding from an injury. Because like, oftentimes if you stop bleeding, it will be actually part of your scheduled story. And what scripting. But if you accidentally get it, that's known as fortuitous juice. <laughs> so, if you accidentally, say, hit them with an amazingly timed reversal or a perfectly done reflect when you're not intending to do that at all, you bump the wrong thing, but it works, but you were just juice. You, know, you planned that, mate. <laughs> you know Liam is the... Not Liam. You know Renee is the absolute champion of that. Fortuitous. Well, see, there's a lot of setups he has where he tries to create fortuitous juice artificially in Blazing Man. Yeah. And then it just doesn't work at all. But he will spend the next 20 minutes after the match telling you <laughs> this would have actually been the greatest thing ever if it had, if just it had done, been done correctly. <laughs> Here we go. Team Yellow versus Team Purple. Land of the Kai's. What music have we got? Auto. Auto. No Beerus, no hit. Damn. Low quality music choices. I don't even know who the character things are. <laughs> hit has that like super jazzy theme. I love it. And Beerus. Like, all I just want is like actual TV music. Yeah, yeah, that'd be so sick. Having the theme tune playing in the background. Bit of dragon, dragon, rock the dragon. Oh, no, I meant Japanese. Oh. The, the, I am a sucker for like that that Mazinga style melodramatic jazz music. Yeah. But I would respect some history of trunks music being appearing. <laughs> on the huge dub. Yeah, have some dream theater. <laughs> oh shit. Good opener from both players. Neither getting much work done. Runes absolutely confirming off this combo every single time for so much damage. This is painful. So Ooh. was that reset? This is the dead hit coming up. How are you meant to see that? How can you react to that? Dead. Ooh. Misery. Drops oh, it. What are you doing, Runus? I guess he did get the teleport. It is a very useful skill to have the air teleport. Lim manages to get damage. the hit out, though. Confirms with the Beerus. Seems to be the absolute key when playing against Renace. You just need to kill Android 21. Level Absolutely. 1. Absolutely. Picks him off, kill it! Lim taking out the Android 21 early. This guy doesn't even know what his buttons do. Surely he does. They do the combo. Yeah, the combo. That one button is really good for comboing too. You see Lim just sitting there waiting. Renace, an absolute monster blocking. Oh my god, Lim knows. He knows. <laughs> yes. Those cross ups. Auto combo picking up. Watching, Soft down. Soft. Masenko. Off those cross ups. It's one thing to understand what someone's going to be doing. It's another, it's another thing to punish. Way to respond. Yeah. Renace does not drop it. Even it up in characters. Renace with a very, very slight lead. Oh. Sitting on five bars, plenty of meter to play with. This happens when you spend all your meter on trying to get the Dragon Balls. This could be dead. Nope. Oh, final flash. My yeah. Nice. That'll kill though. Lim went for the call out, trying to run in. No, Lim, please don't get shook. Don't get got. Lim still with the full health Piccolo. Level three solid. sparking. Oh. Goes for the reflect, gonna get caught by the follow up forward momentum on the auto combo. Lots of Dragon Balls Here online, one more. The seven bars. Watch, watch out for them all. Oh, it's bending it all. One to three. Run down that time. Dragon Balls! Piccolo, Piccolo has the chance. Just need one clean hit on the ground. Oh! oh. Delay. Gonna get him with the grab, no tech. Reflect, locking him out of the tech window. Level 3. 
Final Flash. He's alive. He's kill. I want to see those wishes. Come on. So close. Potential is here. It's being wasted. This is dead. Renes going up in the first game. Two more to win. This is losers finals. Yep. We're in for a long ride. Yeah, we are. If we see a giant, if we see a Shenron summon in this set, I'm gonna lose my shit. Renee straight away opening up. Dreams can come through. Opening up with the traditional Android 21 opener of 2M. <laughs> I'm just sad that you can't actually do Oolong's wishes. Wish. Oh, got the Piccolo. <laughs> Gonna get heavy for his trouble though. They're not spreading the meter. You could have got Nick Gold there. Yeah. just stopping the lever. Good work by Lim. Using the reflector manage to get hit out safely. A lot of blue life to work with too. Just likes to come down swinging. Yeah. Here's the beer setup. Does he know it? He does not. He does not have any idea what's happening to him right now. Level one. And oh. Renee's it's getting called out. Dead. You can have all the tech you like, but if you don't know how to defend against those setups, then you are gonna get blown up. Now it's going to be the battle. Can Lim... Too high. Can he deal with these Trunks auto combos? Good tech. Good tech. So he probably can deal with the auto combo. Nice chicken blocking. To get away with the overhead. Trunks going to catch two. Here it comes. Going to bring the Vegeta in. Still on Earth though. Lim misidentifying the hide. <laughs> Gonna bring that hit in. Really wants to keep Beerus alive though. That crowd is losing their minds off screen. I think one of our local Tasmanians just bet a very, very good uh, into state player. Cool. In the meantime. Lim In the meantime, DBZ to go. With the pride and the cross up right back. You know how to run through, so do I, boy. Yes, block those cross-ups. Oh, level three. Renee's so happy to do this. This is going to be dead. Yep. Half the health gone, straight away like that. Renee's operating on zero bars, though. Lim, we're still two characters online and five bars to work with. Oh, that Trunks 2 I'm going to carry him so far forward. This could be dead. Yep, going to be. Renee's quickly taking the lead there. Lim misidentifying the distance there and suffering for it. Lim once again with the Piccolo. A lot of resources to work with. It's still very hard to open stuff up with one character. Call out. You're going to jump out again. I know. Get inside your head. Alright. One more ball. Getting caught by the chance of future. Come on, Lim. Get it. Get the balls. Revive a character, you know. Okay, I guess we'll just help him. And get teleported for his trouble, yeah. Not sure That's about the risk with doing war supers in this game. Yeah. Very easy to just mash on that teleport. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, Lim tries to go for the Dragon Rush. Going to get hit for his trouble. Doop. Level one. Just an opportunity. Get those balls. All seven of them. No, oh, not blocking the this time. If Sparking ends here, this could be dead. Yeah, this is dead. Oh, nope, no. no hard knockdown. Desperation to get the balls is too strong. No. Miss times the 2H. Runus looking surprised at his own victory right there. <laughs> Liam got a lot of work to do if he wants to run this back. Runus has to show his father the best he's got. So he's got to get those balls. Imagine that. How much of a joke would TFC, the national be, if Grand Finals was decided by Runus getting some fucking Dragon Balls? <laughs> Here we go. Open him up with the hit. That's what you want. You want us. Uh, yeah. You want a video highlight package. <laughs> yeah. Those things when you're promoting next year. Ooh, Clash. Clash on the Dragon Rush. Followed up. What's the Oki? Unblockable. Yeah, scoop. Scoops. He's not dead, but quite low. Roll level one. DAC. Getting these characters in. Trunks. This drunk is you. That means trunks. Yep, yep. In Japanese? Yeah, yeah, mate. I lived in Japan for a year, dude. I, I can actually ah, speak it a bit. 
<laughs> so yeah. Oh, empty. Change the future. Well, maybe it was a grab, actually. Three balls. Raw two edge in the air. Going to take him down. Why the meter there? Not a fan. You can save that for the hell zones. Let's go, Liv. Right. Oh. Doesn't follow up. No. Move up the dragon rush. Dragon. That's some long distance crossovers. Many dragon names. Yeah, everything is dragon something. For ages, I kept calling Super Dash Dragon Rush. Good tech by Liam. Yeah, I mean, it's a word that means approaching rapidly, so. Yeah. This is just throw and homing dash. Yeah. Alright, balls, they're coming. Gonna elect to take them in. Level 3. Both players playing a lot more neutral than they were in previous games. All three characters still like quite late into the set. Ooh, falling M, gonna catch him. 2M, hitting him. Level 1, finishes it up. P Piccolo dead. Lim opting for a different strategy, having Piccolo alive as his last character in previous rounds. Trying to keep different characters healthy for his late game in this time. Nice. Gonna catch him with the cross up. Character knowledge gonna suffer. Hits him. This is gonna be a dead and or a 21. Good stuff by Lim. Now, as we've seen though, Rune, here we go, caught ducking. We have seen though that Rune really is no slap for these characters. Bit too predictable, Lim catching him with a 2H. A lot of meter online, what's for breakfast? Confirms, this is going to be a dead Vegeta. Come on, what are you doing? Fell out. Nope. Killing the Prince. The Prince is dead. The comeback's beginning. Lim looking a bit Black Panther, King's dead up in here. Catches him. Punishes him for that one, finally. Can't just use those roll. Use the hit. Good delays by Runus. So much pressure. Oh, that drop. Stays down. Very awkward time. Sparking. Trying to use it to close out here. Now he has enough time to do so. Renee's. Oh. Lots of damage off this Here one with go. the sparking buff. Renee's out of sparking. Balls. One more hit's gonna do it. Six balls. Greedy as hell by Lim. Placing that ball in the air, gonna get hit for the problem. No tag. Oh, seven balls coming. This is gonna be a dead character here. He's gonna be getting that unspeakable power. Oh no, he's gonna get the kill instead. Yep. Is this going to be a battle for whoever can bring in the dragon? Battle of the gods. Fight for the balls. Let's go, Lim. Yeah. Invincible move. That's, That's it. it. Level three. Lim, wait. The high pause begin. He's got more Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Or Super Smash, Smash Melee. Melee. I don't know. It's really hard to outscream melee players, dude. <laughs> Do it again. Sammy T with the advice of Lim. Do it again. If you get up throw into me and kill a spacey that way on FD, that's well worth screaming over. <laughs> for sure. Lim confirms. Gonna take him into the corner. Early pressure. What's for breakfast? Next up this time gonna be low. Woo! Lim recognizing the reflex, gonna punish him for using him. Yes! No attack from Runei. Dead Runei's coming. Here we go. Lim quickly taking out a character, not a point of damage against him. Throw it up now. He's gotten the energy. He's surpassing his limits. Oh no. That dash through is a very long distance move. Quest for the balls begins. So much damage. Falls out. Who? Confirms. Here we go. Level 1, Alexa the damage. Wants to get that hit out too, gonna bring the Piccolo in. Here we go. No meter to use the Hell Zone. Yeah, I feel like bringing in Beerus would be better for the Piccolo. Get the Piccolo the opportunity to get his bars. Yeah, yeah. Bit of a strange situation too, where do you like to use the Piccolo early or late? Oh my god, Lim. Here we go, here's the Hell Zone. Gets hit out of it, I am not sure what happened there. Gonna elect to bring the Prince of Saiyans in. 
those balls. Much like Lord Freezer, he longs to caress them. <laughs> Wicked. Calls in the Beerus. Again, trying to set balls in dangerous situations and being punished for it. Here we go, confirms. Everyone loves a bit of Beerus magic. Cool, dude. Level oh, 3. You leave that gap, Brutus will scoop you. He sees it, and he hits it every time. Yes, please. Okay. We'll Good use of the sparking. Line. Good Stay. use of the sparking. That's a lot of blue life he's going to gain back off that one. That level 3, it's like it never happened at all. Man, Trunks' auto combo is so weird. This gives Brutus more chances to get the balls. More to play around with. Mashing light enough till it works. Here we go. This hits back in. Oh, Dragon Punch. This might be a dead hit. No meter online for Rudus. Yeah, no so he's gonna be okay. Once again, that short block stun on Change the Future, opening up opportunities for the tech throw. Lim, still with a small lead. Oh, opening it up. Just behind him. neutral right there. Yeah. Hit that 5 Makes you move across the screen. Can I bring the Beerus in? Yeah. Gives him the finger. But literally. Point one to that WrestleMania sign. He wants you. Rinus using the sparking early. Wants that damage. Lim with the down tech. Oh no, here it comes. I would love to see the hitbox on that. Six balls. Good confirmed by Lim. No meter though. Mighty sparking, improving your pressure. Cross ups. Left, right, left, right. Balls. It's coming. It's coming. It's going to happen. Anyone can do it. We need to do it. I mean, oh, I dropped it. Brutus so. wants it. He wants that unspeakable power. Oh, the flip. It comes. Brutus happy with himself Brought after that one. Strength. Unimaginable. Shenron coming into play. What is the wish? Wish for panties. Ultimate oh, power. More sparking to come. Alright. Yes, he's got that power. Let's go, Is it enough? The source actually hit the opponent. Oh. Oh, oh the spin! Empty reflect. There is so much going on here. Snapping him in as well. Oh. Scramble. Runus winning out in the scramble. Runus, four bars. Four bars. God, this is sense. Kill anything that moves. Oh. Hard knockdown. No meter. There we go. Runus advances. Runus pops up. Thanks to the power granted by the dragon himself. Shenlong. You must defeat Shenlong to stand a chance. And really, Lim did it. Yeah. <laughs> You can't feel happy about a loss like that. Someone just pull out the disc. <laughs> <laughs> the pop offs are too real. Dragon Ball's over. <laughs> now Rita says to do it all over again against you, say. Yep. Grand final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will Issei be able to weather the storm after that? <laughs> Brunus looking happy with himself sitting there. <laughs> Brunus proving online tactics are applicable anyway. That's right. Oh, you think all oh, these kids online with their constant Weird. homing dashes and their constant auto combos and their random activations are sparking because they bump the wrong button on their bed. Nah, it's they a can strap. become someone. They too could be Runus. Runus is oh. embodied id. Did they just load the wrong file? I it's don't explaining know. us how Zenny works. Help. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. 
All right, show on intermission. Short intermission before our grand final. It's going to take another chance to thank our sponsors before we head into it. Thank you very much to Area 52, Nerd Culture Hub for Southern Tasmania. And thank you very much for, to Principal Computers. Uh, done a lot of work for us and really, really supported us on the prizing front. Thank you very much to them. Check out their website. Yeah, they provided a bunch of cool prizes, including a number of t-shirts and hats related to Team Fanatic. Yeah, we also have tablets. Uh, we have cash prizing. The whole gamut. Love us and cash prizing. Sammy, are we running late? Is that it? Tech in five. Are we running late? No, no, we're going to take us at six. Oh, we're good. Tech in us at six, we've got a full hour. We're good. We can have the longest possible, right down to the wire, every single game. With I'm, the bracket reset. <laughs> I'm very keen for all of that and then going to Banjos. <laughs> It'll still be much shorter than CBS2. Yeah. I'm just, glad out of three setting. I'm just glad we didn't end up with a Jacko Grand Final for GG. Oh, you don't like Jacko? Look at that wonderful main menu. Totally efficient. Mechanics. It does have big green. Here we go. Getting into it. In the grand final, and Tien, and the prince of all Saiyans. I'm absolutely... So good that he's on both teams. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving the character diversity we've seen today. Yeah, that has been good around. Beyond your obvious Vegeta assists, there's been a number of Kid Boos. Number Tien. Quite a lot of 21 as well. Yeah. Even Sora Blue. There's still got room to explore in this game, everyone. Yeah. Don't lose hope yet. Pick up your characters. Pick the character you want to play. Find stuff out for them. See how many diving headbutts you can do with Napa. <laughs> Napa might actually just be low tier. <laughs> Back around, no one will be committing to their offense yet. Is they really willing to play neutral here? Good reflect by Renes. Oh, no confirm from Issei. Here we go, They're moving in. I find it really interesting, actually, and I don't mean any shade against the two players, but we've seen Runes and Issei in the finals, both players that don't really play quite traditionally. Runes with quite a lot of setups, which are very, very um, one-dimensional, yes. abusing it. And Issei also a bit of a strange player as well, not using meter nearly as much as anyone else, quite often leaving kills on the table and holding on to six bars. Yeah, he's all about just having that meter until he knows it will kill. Yeah, he wants yes. that Oki. Certainly, it's, it's a very key left approach to using meter. Yeah, for sure. He values it quite highly. At least, like, some KOS. Otherwise, yeah. like, in 14, you just burn your meter on maximum activation all the time. Yeah. Ooh, what do we got? Tien, coming down with buttons. Command grab. Is it going down a character quite early? Let's see yeah, how go. he goes, bring it back. Uh, now he's going to bur burn as much as he can and just really wear down that 21. Renee. This is the problem. Take care of it. Don't need to snap her in. Cheetah. Finishing it up. Runa's running a train on Issei early. But is this just a plan? <laughs> is this like Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor? Is that those hits in early? Is they just playing the long the game? Is they got a lot of games to work with too? Sure do. A lot of chances for the dragon to return. Oh god. I'm always a bit surprised people choose the second sparking over getting a character back. You want that power, you want that damage. Yeah, true. Because they, they get come back with so little life. Yeah, for that sure. That it's a more valuable resource to just have that damage. Got to be able to kill your opponent. Here we go, level three. This is going to be a Issa quickly going down a game against Renes. Brutus. First game, two Brutus. Smattering of golf claps from the audience. They're just too bored by his spectacular play. Yeah, that must be it. All right, quickly getting back into it. Issei taking a moment to recenter. It's going to be a matter for Issei of figuring out how to get out of these traps of Rinus and seeing what he can do in response. I suppose that goes wrong with anyone, but Issei really needing to start to begin to deal with the problems presented with him. Good use of the instant air over dash, crossing him up on the other side, taking him into the corner. 
will ultimately be disappointed that Brunus hasn't been super adept at using the power ups that he steals. Mm. Especially the teleport, because. Yeah, teleport's such a strong tool. Power. Brunus resetting on the combo. Gonna take him up here. Let's see if he finishes out the kill. He if should do. Yep. Good work, Blaze. Yeah, Quickly taking out the 21. You gotta wonder how much of it becomes a character knowledge issue as well. How much does this A know about Android 21? 6 M. Booze. Pressure. Burning it all. And good tag. Beautiful read. Again, beautiful yeah, tag. He's in Runus's head now. It says. Download complete. It says defense is an iron wall. Runus scrambling. He cannot do anything here. You can see he's trying to open him up and just getting nothing. Got to be frustrating. Then gets 2 H for his trouble. That's got to feel bad. Mix up. We've oh. seen this one before. Isay unfortunately blocks it. Misses his cross ups there very quickly, but does manage to have a set. Command grab. Here we go. Big damage coming. Do, 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 do. Don't think gonna be dead though. Soft knockdown into the kid boo. Assist is gonna trap Runus. No respect from Runus. Brilliant stuff from Isa. Pops the sparking, misses the dragon dash, gonna get wrecked. And maybe wrecked. But mainly wrecked. That delay. Issei is playing this mental game so, so calmly. Dragon Punch. With respect, Rinus reacting to the mix up. Yep. With the dragon punch. Dude, that, that's a dragon move right there. Yeah. Dragon Punch, Dragon Rush. Would you say, it is the Shen Long. <laughs> That's why you must have the standard chance. Two lots of shots. Big bang attack. Thank you, man. Not going to kill the character, though. But I have an honest offense for the rest of this match. The elects to not tag him out at all. Instead, opting for more pressure. No knockdown. Doesn't care. And he's got such a lead that Issei doesn't really need to be worrying anyway. Ooh, level three. Final flash. Gonna catch the kid, boo. Don't know if it's gonna change Rinus' fate. It's there, popping the spot. I'm gonna gain all that life back. Hit by the da 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 da. It's a is so spot on with these techs. I have not seen a grab land on him yet in this set. Auto combo. It's got five balls. Not the meter. Teleport. Finish him off. Is that evening it up? One one. Two more games. Four is to win. I should add this. Steadily approach. Yes, we should have the winners lose. Thank you. Runus losing out on the offensive early. Is that taking him into the corner? What's for breakfast? That Oki not working out in his favor. Gonna use the 2M, the superior margin. Hey, that's not super boo. <laughs> Rinus taking him back into the corner. Misjudging the distance on the dragon dash and gonna be punished for doing so. Tries to use the 2M on an incoming aerial opponent. That ain't gonna work. Confirms with the Vegeta assist. That's a dead. Yeah, no one. Vegeta. There's the margin you want. Man, nothing in TV. Do you with a suicide super? Play team suicides? Yeah, nothing in modern cinema will ever compare to that Vegeta suicide. Spectacular. Taking him up into the air, gonna take him all the way back down. You do not want to deal with that. Having that off-screen kid boo assist as you get pushed down by the TN wrecker is so hard to deal with. Can't block what you can't see. Seven bars of meter sitting around for SA. Goes for the telekinesis grab. The power of SA. That How many times can he cross him up? Just flip around, being a spot monkey. <laughs> you can imagine the level of execution required on Runus's part for those kind of mix-ups. Oh, it's very complex. Exceedingly complex. You know, he's just tapping that button. Hey, but he knows how to tap the other buttons. Get that vanish. He say he knows how to tap that tech at perfect yeah, timing. Runus has like two or three rhythms for his throws, and mm. that's why... There's so many of them being taken. Yeah, yeah. This is the time where his autopilot will go to this. 
Yeah. And that was one time he broke it up and it worked. Yeah, it did. As it always, conditioning and rhythms are a vital part of understanding fighting games. It's a gonna bring that trunks back in. Not a lot of health yeah, to work with. Get in on that ass. Easy. Easy. It's a taking it. Ken's aerial light doing a lot of work there. It's a going for this fucking combo. Drops it. Not you say. Very nice. Auto combo. Taking him over to the end. There's no way this character's living. Here we go. Sound effects. Modelizing the Yeah, for sure. There we go. He's Japanese, you can't bullshit him. He's been training in the arcades, wait. Yeah. That's all only game. We've got a chance. He's got, all, can win this. he's got all those years of experience. Here we go. Is that recognizing the timing? Level one. Gonna not do a hell of a lot. resources. Super dash a little bit too early there. The tag end as he's coming for the dash. This is that projectile involved. I just realized that our only Japanese player plays the judo. Seems to be the uh, running tra running trend internationally even. <laughs> All right. He sacrificed himself to hurry up the bracket. <laughs> All right, it's a going up a game. One more, and he will win the entire tournament. Runes under the pump. Can he bring it back? Looking a bit shaky in these ones. Dance around. Catch the assist does not catch the bait. Once again, Runes. This is looking almost like a gift. Just playing it again and again, ending up in this left-hand side corner at the start of every match. Yes. Two it. Three actions. Two Runes. Destroying Runes' Dragon Dash. Walk back and forth and throw the Street Fighter 5 Classic. <laughs> you know, you know Issei has just spent that first game. That was an investment. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's looking to that future. Like I said, that down low. Yeah. Floyd Mayweather letting Connor punch him. You're not going to knock me out, but I'm going to get the read. <laughs> and these next three games, putting that knowledge to good use, being absolutely dominant. Right now, for the one time Runes actually shook things up. Time yeah, Rennes' habits really working him against him. You know, that's a hard thing too. He's developed these habits, so how do you break them mid-game? Especially in the carriage of this far into the tournament. Yeah. Like, that's the difference between a good player and a legendary player. Mm. You rely on those habits and then swap them out when the time comes. We're seeing a new legend in the Australian canon happening here. First ever Australian major for Dragon Ball Fighters. <laughs> it's a... Looking like he's going to win it. Raw, level 3. Is this going to work? It is. It's a LX to not spend extra meter to try and tack more damage onto that one. Going to confirm. Take him up into the air. Da, da, da. Take him down to the ground. What's for breakfast? Vanish. That was a bit of a... Yeah. A bit high. Not high enough. Both players bringing in their Vegeta. Oh, beautiful stuff by Issa. Using the heavy to stuff out the super dash. Actually spending on the big mm -hmm. Auto combo, gonna catch this, take him up into the air, what? Soft knockdown, bringing Tian in. Very questionable color choices. Very, very, very... Mortal Kombat mirror. Yeah, yeah. This one is slightly darker. Brunus trying to use that dragon punch there and did not have the read. Here we go, third auto combo, is he gonna get punched for it? He does. Takes him up into the air, let's go. Runus, oh, level three. Oh, you can see it's a oh, waiting for it. One more combo could be here with that Chaozu online. But Runus gonna get the combo. Seven bars. What's he got? Here we go. Very oh, in the game. Here we go. It only takes one grab to take a game. He wants that dragon. He wants that dragon. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, you feel it? Here it comes. Here it is. Second time in the tournament. Runus bringing Shenron no, in for the match. You can see he's thinking about it. What's he want? Yes, ultimate, he power. ultimate power. Seconds parking. 
Ding, ding, ding. He's waiting for it. Oh, set up. Set up did not work. He's throwing away his tournament all on that gamble. Level three. This is going to be enough. No, it isn't. Sparking, keeping him alive. That ultimate power playing off. So much meter, so much damage. Oh, roll level three. Going to be one finishes it. He's dead. Taking that tournament, killing his son. It's a winning up. First major, first Australian major of Dragon Ball Fighter Z going to Issei. That's Beautiful showing. Issei. Issei, finishing Jordan that one up, saying, Got you saw some of that stuff. Thank you very much for the meal. Runus getting messed up. Alrighty, here we go. Shall we bring back the poverty, the poverty camera? Let's Live in the studio. F2. Uh, we can go F3. There we are. Gonna have our presentation. Live studio camera. On the inside what laptop. Fraud. We what know. Runus. Openly declaring what a fraud he is. You heard it on the commentary. You heard it here first, folks. Runus, any Dragon Ball Fighter tournament he wins in Australia? Fraudulent. We better, be, we better be careful about the open declaration because we don't want investigation by the sporting authorities. We really don't want Runus to go to other majors either. But Runus, you're not going to get accepted with an AI scholarship to keep this up. Yeah. By the way, you know this is the debut of Dragon Ball Fighter 7 Major in Australia, so that's for your specific run towards that. Hey! First EBFC tournament. Alright, so. Liam, our Tasmanian wonder, coming in at third place. Good work to him. All right, his way all the way to second place. Runus in second place. You gotta love it. As much as we're giving Runus shit for being a bit fraudulent, he really earned that. He did what he needed to do. Oh, Issei, yeah. coming in with the victory. Congratulations to him. Hope to see many more in the future. Going to take away our principal computer prize of a jumper, cash prizing, and a medal. And a shirt. There we are. Thank you very much, everyone. All right. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming along. We are going to have Tekken coming up in 50 minutes' time, so please stick around. In the meantime, we are going to have friendlies on stream. We're going to have all sorts of stuff going on. Once again, shout out to our sponsors. Thank you very much, Area 52, for sponsoring our event. And thank you very much to principal computers. We'll see you in a bit. Thank you. Who are you again? I'm Atherell. Atherell, I'm Pitchy. Pitchy, nice to meet you, dude. Awesome commentary. Thank you. Signing off.